over here, over here some, some fat, fat chicks. chicks. <laughs> yo, I don't be fucking with them, them fat bitches. That's Jay, yo. All the fat bitches. Don't be stuck on the things they say. Now you know it's a nasty world. I ain't fucking with you anyway, cause I know you're a nasty girl. I ain't never gonna spend my day, so let me compliment your eyes. <laughs> your ass up on the stairmaster, yeah. but you got it on level two, bitch, go a little faster, look, girl, I ain't gonna lie, i tell you how I feel, uh -huh. bitch, you handcuff your big ass to the treadmill, you yeah. wanna work out now, cause you know it's getting hot, and your big ass finna pop all about a hold the top, Woo. find the right chick wearing some tight shit, and it's on, see your ass wearing some tight shit, we like, she wrong, she wrong. don't be stuck on the things they say, now you know it's a nasty world, it's a nasty world, I ain't fucking with you anyway, cause I know you're a nasty girl, you a nasty girl, I ain't never I'm gonna spend my day, so let me compliment your eyes. Yeah, you got high eyes. But you's a big bitch, man. Yeah, it's not my baby. That burger even got your ass fat, fat. McDonald's done got your ass fat, fat. That Domino's done got your ass fat, fat. Yeah, it's not my Slim in the waist, curves in the right place A bitch with hips, lips, and a tight face uh -huh. Your appetite will put a dent up in a nigga's salary yeah. You need to stop burning that weed and burn a calorie Your attitude's like you always had gear You got a ponytail, you ain't always have hair I just Woo. wanna see your capris coming down Mommy, we uh -huh. run the town, stay away if you 300 pounds, pounds Don't get stuck on the things they say Now you know it's a nasty world oh, It's a nasty world I ain't fucking with you anyway Cause I know you're a nasty girl You's a nasty girl I ain't never gonna spend my day, so let me compliment your eyes. Say so nice about your eyes. Cause you's a big bitch, man. Yeah, it's not my little baby. Fat, fat. The intimates done got your ass. Fat, fat. The little Debbie's done got your ass. Fat, fat. The cupcakes done got your ass. Fat, fat. Yeah, it's not my little baby. I ain't no trick. I ain't at the bar with my wallet. I'm freaking off in your car, in your closet. Uh huh. And ain't nothing wrong with a big, strong girl. If you could cook your ass off, I'd give you the world. What? You could be skinny or fat, white or black. Nigga, pussy is pussy, so yeah, I hit that. I'm a freak. So I love Menage twice. And I really care less if you twice my size. <laughs> Don't be stuck on the things they say. Now you know it's a nasty world. It's a nasty world. I ain't fucking with you anyway, cause I know you're a nasty girl. You're a nasty girl. I ain't never gonna spend my day, so let me compliment your eyes. I'm gonna compliment your eyes. <laughs> yeah, you're a fuck with your big bitches, but I'm staying yeah. fuck away from me. <laughs> You got your ass your ass beating fat, fat, They can't get your ass beating fat, fat. Bitch, you grown, that ain't baby. Fat, fat, Stay the fuck away from me, fuck. Fat bitch. Fuck with your yeah, yo. Oh, excuse me. Stop, don't stop. Oh, yeah. Don't touch me. Got it! I mean this shit, ho. Oh! What's up, Negative Nation? Welcome to Negs Live. I am Negs, and it is 10.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the beautiful state of Indiana. It is a Wednesday morning. Hello. How are you? I'm Negs, and welcome to Negs Live. What's going on, guys? We have a very special uh, uh, edition of Negs Live for you very early this morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, because I see that people are incapable of just accepting reality. And they also want to create their own version of revisionist history. So I understand that French Fried Girl feels highly emboldened because she has all these subs and a thousand people watch her. <clears throat> First, honey, you're a flash in the pan. You'll be gone. What, you'll, I'll be here long after you're gone, trust me. So you can keep flexing your views now. Um... But uh, <laughs> you keep trying to rewrite history. So I think we need to do a review. I want to review the stream where one of your mods sent you 7,000 calories in the mail. I don't know how this flew past me. I don't know how this got uh, by me on the radar. But somebody literally sent this girl who judges other people for their weight. Like a box with 7,000 calories in it. Nothing but junk food. And she's sitting there being the skinny legend she is and just cracking on people. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. I don't know. Like, they think they're thin. They think they're right. They think this. They think that. They couldn't fuck themselves with a wiffle ball bat. 
get a refund. So what's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome. Tonight is our members-only stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what we're doing tonight, but it's going to be lit. Just for members only. Only members. Good afternoon, everybody. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. So, before we even proceed into the Gunts, into the Gunts 7,000 calorie mukbang, I want to talk about Lauren for a minute. Yeah, we've been new. Uh, Lauren, you flip flopper, two faced snake. That's all right. I'm glad that you outed yourself as a two-faced snake because it doesn't do anything to me, but you are a two-faced snake and you hide, you shield yourself with your mental illness. Uh, nobody cares, okay? Doesn't give you an excuse to be an asshole. All right, Lauren. So Lauren sent, sent somebody... Oh, thank you, Missy. I appreciate it. Um, I'll check that here just a bit so we can update everybody. So Lauren, you you uh, been, you been uh, tweeted at somebody and then uh, this is a tweet at somebody and I'm going to be showing emails that you sent to somebody that you claim are fake. Because uh, we know how you roll. You, 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 I mean, like, why would somebody fake an email and email themselves and then try to hem you up for it, Lauren, when you have a pattern of behavior of flip-flopping, right? I'm going to go check my super chats. You may have even super chatted me once, and you know how the gut feels about that, don't you, Lauren? Oof, man. Good way to get on her bad side so early in the game, right? <clears throat> so, I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to give context because that doesn't matter. But uh, no, but really, I don't have the want, need, or energy to be sneaky or pretend to be someone I'm not in order to what? Like, what do people think my end goal is here? Fight to the death in an influencer STV special? I'm too far fat and tired for that. You are right there. You are too fat and tired. <clears throat> so, bloop. Oh, is this you? Is this you? Is this you right here? Is this you right here? Do we need to do some comparisons with your tweets to compare the grammatical accuracy and the vernacular because we could do that i mean if you want to be petty and lie all the time we'll just we'll just do forensic investigations on your shit just to be extra petty because i mean we're that good at this stuff okay we could do it all i gotta do is ask somebody compare the stuff and it'll happen and it'll be in the discord later by the way i see you're still in the discord server taking screenshots but you keep skipping context and you keep skipping facts and truth about your own people so you're literally in the files you're, this, this is like you're in a police evidence room, right? And you see, and, and, and you're on the side of the murderer. And you're in there going, oh, no, there's the knife, there's the bloody shirt, there's the DNA, there's the rape kit. There's, oh, no, 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 I, 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 I. right there. One of the family members of the victim said something disparaging. Ah, murderer's a victim. Murderer's a victim. Victim! That's what you do. It's so precious. It's so precious. It is. It is. It's like willfully being Helen Keller. But everybody knows that I do Cash App uh, Ghost Frog, so they will tweet that stuff out. They won't admit it, but I do. I don't know. What are we up to? 25, 30 bucks now? I appreciate you being my Twitter without a Twitter. But this is from Lauren. Lauren says, I know you hate me. Hey, it's Lauren from Twitter. I know you hate me, but I need to get this off my chest. I remember you gave me your email a while back and you had me blocked on Twitter. I don't agree with what they're doing to you. They're hypocrites. Fritz Frank girl told me Callie hit Shane and they mock you for abuse. They do. Those, those are facts. She also threatened me and told me she would expose our private DMs if I didn't lie about the Jewish thing. But she said that if uh, she, she had her go lie and say that she saw that she was Jewish on her passport. That's stupid. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to get hurt. I want you to know I'm sorry. I understand if you don't respond. <laughs> Please don't tell me when I emailed you. <laughs> Too late. Sorry. <sighs> sorry. I already told everybody that you emailed them. Honesty is so much easier, guys. Just being transparent and honest, especially in the world of business. Like these people are running around like this is like this is some kind of espionage thing. Like they're just doing all these these CIA esque ops. It's it's stupid. All right, more more from Lauren, but she'll say it's fake, right? You'll say it's fake, right, Lauren? Right, Lauren. You'll say it's fake, right, Lauren? Right. I know you don't like me, and I don't like you, and I I, I thought. I've thought for literal hours about sending you this website link, and I've I've been told not to by people. Well, I hope you keep this message between 
us because my info is on this site too. I know that's out of my control. I may be making a huge mistake, but you have a child and I don't think it's safe having your address out there. There are more sites like this I'm finding because, because North Carolina has no privacy laws. Yeah, really? Well, okay, cool. Right on. Am I still live? Am I still live? I'm still live, right? They removed my thumbnail. They removed my thumbnail from the video because that piece of meat on there looked like a vagina. I'm still live though, right? Here, I'm not digging. The green in this flag is making my color look weird. I'm not digging it. There we go. <clears throat> Yeah, I just got I just got an email from YouTube. They they removed my uh, my thumbnail for nudity, for nudity. Somebody tried it. Somebody reported me. They tried. They really tried. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let me go make sure I'm still live. All right, I'm still live. Okay. Uh oh. They said they removed my video. You know what? I'll be right back. Give me just a second. Yeah, they, they definitely removed a thumbnail. But hang on just a second. I'm just going to take care of something real quick. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I can't believe they really tried. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, no. We can do what we want. We can say whatever we want because we believe our own delusions. So, therefore, we're beyond reproach. Therefore, we... We could do what we want, say what we want, right? Okay, yeah, they removed a thumbnail. That's cool. No big deal. No big deal. No biggie. Not a big deal. No, no, no. Not a big deal at all. Okay, cool. Right on. It's nobody's fault. It's my fault. I'm the one that published it. All hail lazy. By the way, if you'd like to get your name up here, trigger cool animation, smash the super chat button, or you can join us tonight for a members only chat and live stream by becoming a member. Yeah, they thought it was a vagina. It's a piece of meat. It's a steak. <laughs> it's a steak, but nice try. Nice try. I'll just not use that in the future. Thank you very much. Everything is a learning experience. Oh, it's a pork chop. My bad. See, I'm not, I don't know meat. I just know it resembled a vagina. But that's cool. Oh, hell lazy. Let's get a notification to move forward. I don't know why they said they removed my video. They just removed the thumbnail. Why would they remove the fucking whole video for a thumbnail? That's just stupid. They didn't apply a strike either. So, nice try. Nice try. I appreciate it. But we got we to gotta move on. We got a motor. I want to show you guys something here. I, I, I'm very new to this, but this definitely is applicable to the following uh, subject of this video. And I want to introduce you guys to what Darvo is. Don't know what Darvo Hello, is? Welcome back to Eclectic Hello. This is Alina, all the way from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And today I'm answering another question from my Spanish-speaking channel. They wanted me to, to talk about DARVO. So, let's do that. DARVO is an acronym and it, it's a term that was coined by Jennifer Freyd from the University of Oregon. And she said that D stands for deny what the victim says, attack the victim, and reverse victim offender. So reverse roles there, right? So the the victim is now the offender ah! and the offender is the victim. And that's what they do. So the offender takes the role of the victim. Which is Sound familiar? How many examples of this do we have? How many examples have we seen of this in just the last last night? I'm playing this because when we go into the Guntz video, she's got nothing. She, she could play the victim, but I'm basically showing her that she's a narcissist. Just what narcissists do, what, just what psychopaths do. We know this, we know this, right? This is uh, manipulation, pure and simple. But it's institutionalized and it's used in trials and in the court and in the judicial system. Politics. And it's been known to be used by presidents as well. Yes. 
okay? And politicians, when Thank they you. deny accusations of sexual assault and uh, of abuse. And so what they do is they deny the accusation, they attack the victim, mm -hmm. and they, they portray themselves as being the victims, and, and the victim, the real victim, as being the offender. So that well, here's the deal. There's one problem with this, and that is I don't see myself as a victim, but I understand how it's applicable to me because they were the offenders. Right, I didn't. I didn't tell. I didn't tell French. I didn't ask French Fry Girl if she was allowed to go to her son's funeral. I didn't ask her that. I didn't ask her where the ten thousand dollars for her son's funeral went. I didn't say that. I didn't make dementia jokes about her mother. I didn't make anti-Semitic remarks towards her regarding Froggy in my DMs. These are things that I didn't do. She did them. That's what they do. We take this to from an institutional level to it could. This could happen in institutions as well, so that's where they scapegoat the victim for speaking the truth, and so they accuse that person of being a liar and of being the offender, and the institution plays the role of the victim. Okay, so this is another manipulation Beautiful. tactic that Beautiful. nurses, psychopaths use to get what they want. Did you hear that? Narcissist and psychopaths. How many times have I heard somebody refer to the gunt as a psychopath? More times than I can count. And we all know these tactics. It's just that they are put together in this Thumbs acronym, up, shares. which is Darbo, and with steps. And it's great. I love this because they made research on this and they found mm -hmm. that the... If it is, Missy. It applies to so many people. The victim has more exposure. So the more exposure to Darvo, the more likely that the victim will be seen as guilty. So what did they do? What has she done? Oh, he's a racist. Oh, he, he made edgy jokes about my demise. Well, of course I did. Of course I did. I would challenge any woman that's over there going, oh, oh my God. Okay, so come here, Jennifer, or whatever the hell your name is. Sit down. Let's reverse roles, shall we? Because you're good at reversing roles. You had to bury your child, right? And your mom has dementia. So I want you to sit in that chair, and I'm going to ask you, where did the 10000 for the funeral go? And were you allowed at your child's funeral, Jennifer? And... Oh, your mom doesn't have dementia. She's just trying to forget your dumb ass, right? Oh, and about your kid's funeral. Were you allowed to go to that? You see what I'm saying, Jennifer? What would you say beyond that? And Jennifer is a fictitious person. So let's switch roles, shall we? But there's the good part is that they also found that the more education, psychoeducation about Darvo, that we spread the word everywhere about Darvo, the more, the more people know about Darvo, Mm -hmm. The more likely um, that the real offender will be found guilty. Uh, and that's what we're here today for. Because I've seen, look man, every time these individuals speak and try to get their hug box to tighten it up, it backfires. I've received multiple messages again overnight. I've received multiple comments again overnight. I've received... Instagram DMs, again, overnight for people saying, thank you, I had no idea she was this bad, right? So if it's five or six people, great, fantastic. Five or six people know that you're a psychopath. Okay, so, or the less believable the real offender will be. If people know about Darvo, mm -hmm. there's more chance that you can accuse the real offender, okay? Mm -hmm. And so... One other aspect of this that I wanted to add, I wanted to add that this is exactly what happens in narcissistic abusive relationships. Yeah. Like if you are dealing with a narcissist or a psychopath, malignant narcissist. Oh, a malignant what narcissist. They do is this all the time that you're exposed to being gaslighted and to being lied to and to <laughs> they accuse you of pure lies. And they, they <laughs> take the role of the victim, just Shit. like this. And they oh are masters, actors, especially. For example, in... Uh, can, can, we, can we make something clear? Frank, you suck at this. I know that's what you're trying to do, but you suck at this, bro. You just come off as a puss. Divorce, 
trials and uh, what do you say? What's the word in English? When you're, you know, uh, divorcing a person. Okay, so yeah, you get the gist of it, right? I, we don't. I, she she said what it is. I, we don't need a six minute video to uh, to delve into it, right? No, we don't. But we need a little bit of time to delve into this. We are going to jump into the French Fried Girls live stream from July twentieth, twenty twenty one. Fourteen thousand ninety seven views. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you're a dishonest, lying sack of shit. Um, I would rather not get these views and have my dick credibility. Go to fucking hell, Niggs! I hope you go to hell! All hail, Keisha. Sounds like what they did to me after I spoke out against them. It's exactly what they do. They're the victims. So, honey, you can flex these numbers. I know your subs have stagnated, and you should start seeing a decrease in subs. Because you crescendoed, you made it worse for yourself, and now you and Frank, Miss Parker, yeah, Shane, Callie, all you guys keep prying Pandora's box open more and more and more. And I'm here for it because I've done nothing to you. I may have told you to go f the, the KYS on Twitter, but that's the extent of it. You've You've been very, very, very personal and incendiary to multiple people not just me this isn't just about me but uh you know your 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 words did have some impact at one point in time but then i was like it's not what you said to me that doesn't hurt me it's the fact that people sit by and know that you said that and they go oh he told you to do xyz so yeah he's the evil person no get fucked that's not how it works uh anyway uh i would not wear this color and i like how you're not really iceberging the camera it's like it's like if the Titanic saw the iceberg from uh, 10 miles away but could only see the top of it. I like how you're doing that. Why do you need eight feet of wall above your head? Why? You're wearing a white shirt. Your, 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 your hair's pulled up, so it's like white, 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 white. You look flushed. I can't, there's no, I mean, makeup, nothing. It just looks like one continual color from the top of your ceiling to your toes. So, let's go. Yeah, let's hey see. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody doing tonight? Girls, girls, how's everybody doing? Hey, didn't she steal this idea from Yabba? Can you hear me? I've had a little, ah, uh, okay, I'll be good. I can already see we're good. Phew, we had a little technological problems. I hate this computer so much. Uh, but I'm well, not hey, why don't you buy one with all that money you're making there? Have you been reporting it to the Canadian disability? I don't know what the, how they track your disability payments, but have you been reporting your income? Because I'm sure they'd be interested to know that you suddenly had this huge burst of thousands of dollars. Old McNiggy, Heather Farm, A-B-T-I-O, Fish Boy, Dang. Just wanted to see the lol cow. Much love. All hail Luna. Thank you so much. Complaining about it. You know what? It's better to have a computer that is junk than to have no computer at all. But anyway, I don't even want to talk about It's better to have a body that's junk than to have no body at all. You talk too fast because you're a spaz. You're a spurg. You spurg, it's all you do. Even when you're not emotionally riveted or being criticized rightfully, you spurg. Computers, give me a few days. I'm going to get my ass in gear. I got to go and get a new computer. All right, well, I'm going to step up my game. I want to be able to- No, you're not. To, to start recording the chat going on. In no, no, you're not. In Chantal's videos and in whatever we're- Oh, you're going to- you're gonna, Oh, that's- Yeah, no, because your whole channel is in violation of terms of service too. I just want you to know that. Thank you. Y'all, I can promise you that there will be some improvements uh, pushing more. Uh, I know, right? Coming up so? next <laughs> on the channel. Hi, guys. How is everybody doing? Hey, hey. I was a lot better before you popped up on the screen, but do go on. Hi, guys. Oh, thank you guys so much for all the French fries in the chat. You know you know how much I love them. Oh, we do. Look at you. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no. Where is your chin? Oh, I can't put it on the screen. Damn it. What Karate is... Foe, thank you so, so much for the super sticker boot. I'm, I don't know why I can't put it on the screen. I'm so sorry. I'd love to highlight that, but... She is copying me. She wants to be like me. But she's a flash in the pan. She has no... her. What she's doing is not sustainable. The only reason she has so many viewers is because the community's dying and people want something fresh. Charlie, pff, she's out. She's yesterday's news, right? I don't know what Yabba's stats are like, and I don't know what Yabba's doing. I don't keep track of Yabba. She's not problematic, and we're cool. But as far as the other reactors, not really much is going on. DC is going live, looking like a wax statue, and uh, being a snowflake. Where are your lips, DeVito? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for the super sticker. Hey, guys. 
How is everybody doing? Did everybody have a lovely day? I'm so sorry for this late, late meeting. <laughs> Kimberly West, I'm sad I don't have no French fry emoji, LOL. That's okay, girl. French fry, put F even in the chat. I get what y'all are going for. I love that. Thank you so much, girl. Oh, cute. Sierra Daniel, it's my mom's birthday today. Happy birthday to Sierra Daniel's mom. <laughs> I hope you had a lovely birthday, girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wanna talk about birthdays? Yeah. Sweetness. Hey, boo. I saw your message this morning. Uh, I laughed. I laughed. Your little petty men. Oh, you were waiting for me, girl. I appreciate that. Efradistopoli. That was so sweet of you. Girl, I had a... Fuck, you're fucking boring. So fucking vanilla. Julie, things like that don't affect my life. I don't trust anybody. I'm, I'm oh, oh, no. No, I want to hear what doesn't affect your life because I promise you. I promise you. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm getting like little deets on you here and there. So I'm getting a feel for who you are. One thing I know is that you do not own a business. I know that for a fact. Um, it is, there, there are, there are signs pointing to you being on disability because you are, you have a mental illness and it's right here on display. Right. And people, and it's, it's another Cali. People are just encouraging it. Oh no, go stalk somebody at the Julep Festival. You're, you're, you're telling her to stalk somebody. Right. If you did that in Indiana, if you encouraged somebody to go stalk somebody and then they caught wind of it and thought their family was in danger, you just set them up to be killed or potentially be severely injured. You guys are so fucking dumb and irresponsible. We will not be watching that. The full version. <laughs> of this channel. That's hark, hark, so because I only just got home a couple hours ago, I definitely didn't have the time. I'm sorry to edit that thing down tonight. Oh, oh you and you an outpatient therapy. That's cool. Obviously, I will be doing that. As soon as this session is over, okay, I will get down to the clipping. Tomorrow, early in the day, we mm -hmm. will have a sesh. We will take a look at a condensed version of what I missed today. What the fuck? Why are you watching the same person every day, you weirdo? You're weird. Like, you think this is an ac accomplishment? If Chantel didn't exist, you wouldn't have a channel. I can exist without you. I can exist without any of y'all, right? I can do that. I've been doing it for, uh, what? It's going on almost 20 years now. And what I'm sure a lot of you are refusing to sit through today, because that was a lot. But there was a lot in there that was worth seeing. And I'm not talking about the butt shot, okay? I saw that. Yeah, that was everywhere on Twitter. I got home, got on Twitter. First thing I see is Chantal's ass in my face. God, you're fucking okay. weird. You're so That's weird. That's not what I'm talking about, y'all. Listen, you're so you know weird. Me. Yes, it's it's funny. Nobody knows you, and look at you wearing Adidas like your boy Negs. That's cute. Me that she flashed again. Ha ha. You know, it's not my style on this. That will be cut out of tomorrow's video. You know how I do. You know how you do. You lie. You change the narrative. You play victim, even though you're the aggressor. Yeah, we know how you do. That's her slip. That or or purposeful slip. I I don't even know what to call that, but. That's not what we dwell on on this channel. Okay. Oh, you're, you're, oh, so you don't dwell on things that you dwell on. Okay. okay. That's just not at all. <laughs> at all my, my gig. So don't be expecting butt tomorrow. If you all want to see butt, head on over to Twitter. It's literally all I saw. It's, it's a tsunami. Of We're not going to dwell on this thing that I'm dwelling on, guys. Okay. Hey, hey, Chantel's butt. We're not going to dwell on that. Are you serious? You mean I post my schmeckle on my Discord server and you don't say a word, but you're going on about this morbidly obese food addict's butt? No wonder you're single. You know what I'm saying? What? Right now on Twitter. Okay. Um, Jesse, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I love you and want to say be with Hey, Jesse, uh, do you have kids? Hi, Jesse. Neg's here. Hi, Jesse. 838383 from Australia. How are you, hon? Uh, do you have kids? Yeah, let's let's play let's role play for a minute, and I, and this is the only thing you people understand. So I just want to role play with you for a minute. Let's pretend you lost somebody, and you had to bury them, and you were broke. You had to go fund me, blah blah blah. Some skank got a hold of us, spread a bunch of rumors that weren't true, and then flash forward nearly five years later, another skank says, "Where's the ten grand? Were you allowed at the funeral? How you feel about that, Jesse eight three eight three eight three Various from Australia? Stories, if you haven't got the vibes yet, how do you feel? Your mom's sitting there with dementia, and you have to sit there and take care of her and go through that fucking horrific experience. And then some dummy on YouTube or on Twitter goes, "Oh, your mom don't have dementia. Just trying to forget your dumbass." And then she goes on to make uh, homophobic jokes. How do you feel about that, Jesse? Eight three eight three eight three. I have all the receipts. Would you like to see them, or is that not sufficient enough? I'm sorry. What are the requirements for dope, dopamine and ass pats on YouTube he now? Called me I don't a know. Miss Sandrist for calling out his weird behavior. Love. Hmm. I I don't know. Missy. <laughs> who that is girl. But I'm. 
baseline, weary of everybody. So usually things like that don't affect my life. I don't trust anybody. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't trust anybody because you're a fucking snake. That's why. You're a lying sack of crap. You are. You lie so much. You have defamed my character, Gigi's character, Peanut's character, Chantel's character. You've threatened to stalk Chantel, and your sycophants sit there and go, this is fine. If that's Biachi. Remember when Yabba and them made a joke about going to see Chantel or some shit like that, and people lost their minds? Where's, th where's that energy now? But uh, having been burned a few too many times in my life, I baseline on no trust. And then we we learned to trust each other. You know what, you know what I mean? Yeah, she did. Uh, you came out. Gigi came out. And then she went all homophobe on Twitter and nobody said a fucking word. It just, everybody says uh, a little safer like that, my opinion. No hate at all. It's it's my internal problem. Yeah, you have a lot of internal problems. Oh, as the Fupa turns Kitty Moon. You look familiar. I want to address you too. Uh, same question as the Fupa turns. Uh, do you, do you, have you ever... I don't know, lost a child and been harassed about it or had a parent with dementia and been harassed about it. How would you feel about that? As the Fupa turns, Kitty Moon, hey girl, thank you so much for the super chat. I sent you an, uh, and Rose some tweets with screens of the cat poo and pee on the stairs. You all are fucking sad and pathetic. When she got home, oh lord, really? Poor cats, I was mad as hell. <sighs> That's awful. Oh god, so it's gonna be a doozy of a four hours, okay. Doozy. Well, Doozy of a four I don't know hours, huh? Disgusting. She's, it's enraging. I know cats don't want to go on carpets. If they're going on carpets, it's because their things are dirty, right? Like I don't have a cat, but I, I think that's how they are with their little box, right? They don't want to go in a dirty little box. My automatic. You're sitting here talking about somebody's shitty cat. You are fucking. Oh my god. I can't wait till whatever this trend is that you're writing is dead in the water because you make YouTube look like a fucking trash fire. Your content is unwatchable. You're, you make hundreds of dollars. You can't even invest in a new camera. You don't even have a new computer. You're basically filming through a Twinkie. Attic is that they're either traumatized from being alone suddenly without junk out, or their litter box is so gross that they'd rather shit on a carpet. I might be wrong. That's just what my... You shit on my son's memory. Yeah, you shit on Gigi's mom and you shit on a lot of other people, but you particularly shit on my son's memory. Now, I'm not offended because I know you're fucking mentally ill and disabled. You won't admit that to your audience that you draw a disability check in Canada and that that's subsidized housing. You won't admit that. But it's the truth and you know it and you know how I know. Stink is telling me, but I don't own a cat, so I don't fucking know. Shanji, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Ready for the full moon, Frenchie? I am so... Shanji, same question. Blah, 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 blah. How do you feel about it? Loving this girl gang. Oh my... Is it a full moon? Because that would explain a lot of the day I had today. And yes, I will be calling out every single one of your super chatters and asking them how they feel about the things that you've said to other people. Damn. Damn. Oi. DDH, thank you so much for the super sticker, girl. I didn't... I didn't click it fast enough. I'm... I'm I talked... Same question, DDH. How do you feel? Where's the 10000 to your kid's funeral? How do you feel about being asked that? Too much. I'm so, so, so sorry. I will get better at this. I would love to highlight it. But thank you so, so much, DDH. I really appreciate it. Um. <coughs> oh, no, wait. I can. All right. I found it. Yay. Thank you so much, DDH. <laughs> I so appreciate it. Who was that? I missed one. I missed one. Hang on a second. Wait. I can't. DDH. There you go. 99 cents. DDH. Same question. Is that your dog? Is that your dog? Hey, your dog passed away. Yeah, did you kill your dog, DDH? Did you? Cause see, that's the type of thing French Fry Girl would say on Twitter if she didn't like you. So I'm just wondering how you would feel about somebody saying something so abhorrent to you on Twitter. And it, uh, the Hussy Show says she's eating a sandwich. Yes, she is indeed eating a sandwich. All hail the Hussy Show. Whoop. You dickwad! You dickwad! Go to fucking hell, Niggs! I hope you go to hell! Yeah, I don't have to talk about her looks. But she could be, if she were a decent human being who stood for something and was honest and didn't attack people who weren't here to defend themselves because they're dead, then uh, I would, I would, I would, I wouldn't even, I'd look past her looks. But, you know, she, that's the thing that shines through the most because of her absolutely abhorrent attitude. All right, I found it. Yay! Thank you so much, Dee <laughs> I so appreciate it. I'm sure you do. Oh. I'm sure you do. You've been on, how long you been on disability now? You've been struggling. I know that. You've been struggling, huh? So this is like the highest point you've ever had in your life. And plus you feel like you got one over on me. Uh, okay. Kristen Keen, thank you so much, girl. 
Here's a virtual. Kristen Kane, you look like a grandma. Here's a virtual bourbon for you. Kristen, same question. Yeah? You know what question I'm asking. Bourbon for you, girl. I so appreciate it. <laughs> what a day. Now, I'm not a drinker, but you know I will be devil lettucing it up. <laughs> but you, you, you are the craziest stoner I've ever seen. Like, who would want to smoke with you? You have got to be, like, the worst person to smoke with because you are the most insecure, anxious person I've ever seen. You wear your untreated mental illness on your sleeve. You know that, right? Everything about this is an ex exhibition of mental illness. It's, it's how I roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, not a full moon. Now I get it. See... When I'm off my game, the, the jokes go right over my head. So not a full moon, but a full moon. Why don't you show yourself below the collarbone? Why is that? Why do you and Charlie Gold show less and less and less and less of your body? You were just on a weight loss journey six months ago. Let me show you something, honey. Okay, look, all right. I, and I'm going to show you because I'm losing weight. This is my belly, okay? This is my belly, right? This is my belly now. It was like this. But like this, it was like this, this right here, right? This is my belly. I'll show you my belly because I'm losing this. This is this is all going away. These are 36s. They're falling off of me, right? They're falling off of me. This is an extra large shirt. It's baggy on me now, okay? Okay. I was 215 when you first asked me if I was allowed at my son's funeral. I am 189 pounds now. How you like that? Whoosh. <laughs> what a day. All right, so it was Chantal's full moon. I got it now, guys. I got it. I got it. <laughs> You're so weird. Maybe that was the full moon that fucked up my day. Hold up. Maybe I was onto something with that. You, what is this? <laughs> hmm. When do you open the 7,000 calories? That's what I'm here for. I I'm here to watch a fat girl who makes fun of another fat girl get a bunch of fat girl food. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, double full moon. Holy shit. If I Sweetness. Hi, hon. Hi, sweetness. How you doing? I see you're a French fry girl supporter. Got grandkids? Yeah. Uh, what if something happened to one of them? And then the gut was like, were you allowed at the funeral? What if your mom's in a nursing home with dementia and she's like, your mom just trying to forget your dumb ass. I mean, I'm just trying to reach through to you people because you seem void. You seem to have this cognitive dissonance where you just ignore everything one, one person does that affects so many people because you enjoy her talking about the same fat girl every day. You're fucked in the head. Is that the scope of your interest? Is Chantel's struggle? You, do you ever fucking laugh at any point in the day at anything that's actually funny? Do you actually think watching a fat person struggle is funny? I mean, outside of my reaction to this fat person struggling, do you... <laughs> I'm so poly. Thank you very much, girl. I really appreciate it. You've become a pro French ride, girl. <laughs> You're not quite pro, but I'm at least learning how to do this screen thing. Hey. <laughs> Oh, DDH, thank you again for the super sticker, girl. I DDH, same questions. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Oh, my God. A DDH and the girl and everybody's giving her money before. How would you feel if your son came out of the closet and then the French fried girl went online and made homophobic rape jokes about him? How would you feel about that, too? Were you allowed at the funeral? Your mom's just trying to forget your dumb ass. Oh, wait. Sarah Holly, thank you so much for the super sticker girl. I really appreciate that. I have a lot of fun putting these on the screen. Tell me if I'm pissing you guys off with this, but uh, ever since discovering how to do this, I love it. I think uh, instead of- Oh, it, it, you discovered how to click? Wow. Look at the big brain on you. Production value, that's what I'm talking about. Just me reading them. I'm a visual person, I'd rather see things. Hmm? You let me know if it's annoying, but until I hear it's annoying. We're doing it this way. Hey, Acro, thanks so much for being here. For do 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 uh oh Mary okay Mary oh my oh wait wait oh no oh no oh no 
Where are you? Ah, thank you so much for the french fries, dude. I really appreciate that. Everybody look at the french fries on the screen. Now what the fuck? I know it. I know it. <sighs> thank you. Oh, I am yeah, trying, you. girl. <laughs> Alrighty. Tracy M. Hey, boo. Thank you so, so much okay. for being a mod. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Did she All really right. show her ass? I mean, she's done nothing but show her ass for the past three months, but today she literally flashed the camera. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. I guess that was like the last thing that we hadn't seen. Yeah, what haven't you seen? Acrofo, Mary Beth Wiley, DDH, AJ, Tracy M. Uh, what was the other one? Jesse838383. Yeah, how do y'all feel? How y'all feel about your family being drug out and exploited because she wants to get a gotcha moment? She wants to try to trigger you into a reaction so she can laugh at you. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about somebody reaching into your real life and making a joke out of it? You feel good about that? How'd you feel if I did that? I'm not going to because I'm not a piece of shit. But, you know, I don't... <laughs> All I do is say disgusting things towards somebody who has no respect for me or my family. So why would I not say disgusting things? You say it's okay for her to say disgusting things and others to say disgusting things to Chantel and anybody you don't like. But as soon as they, the people who are the victims of your transgressions, defend themselves, you're the victim. Darvo. Chantel, so there's always that. Job complete. Should have saved it for OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Roast Thor, damn it, girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. Chantal, bad moon rising. Uh, what is this? The meeting of the foreheads? LOL, worst moon rising, girl. <laughs> I really do think that was the full moon that fucked up my day. I think I was onto something there. Hmm. Uh, Zoe Wright, no, we will not be. It's um, almost four and a half hours long, that live. There is no way in hell I'm sitting through four and a half hours of that on one of the worst days today. Zoe, fuck, could you get the camera any closer to the third chin? Like, for real. No wonder you all gather in the fucking same community. Hey, Zoe. Zoe, were you allowed at the funeral? Your mom's just trying to forget your dumb ass. Uh, maybe you should just go for a walk. You seem like you need to go for a walk, Zoe. Um, because you, for some reason, think this is entertainment and think that because you watch another fat girl. It's like a fat girl watching a fat girl make fun of another fat girl and stalk a fat girl. So that makes you feel better about yourself. And th that doesn't make you healthy. That's not going to give you the 10 years at the end of your life that you've already lost by being irresponsible. That I've had a long time. I will be editing that down as soon as our stream is over tonight. And tomorrow, early in the day, we will be reacting to a very condensed version Four and a half hour stream. Oh. You're fucking pathetic. I don't ever sit here and condense a four hour live stream because I don't have any fucking talent. God, never. Never. <laughs> no, I, I can't do it. It's been a day already. I'm just going to end up walking away. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> Close the computer and leave. <laughs> Sarah Hang, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Can we get a Renaissance Baby super sticker? <gasps> I don't know how to make super stickers. I don't think you can make super stickers. I don't know. I will Google this. If it can be done, it shall be done. Ooh. <laughs> Here's a big pill for the gut to swallow. Chantel may be fat, but at least her face is pretty and her voice isn't like nails on the chalkboard. Word. <gasps> Wait. Can you do free memberships? Because I know you can pick little pictures and stuff when you have memberships. If you can do free memberships, I'll do memberships on my channel. Let me inform myself. Maybe we can have fun with the little stickers of Renaissance Ladies and stuff. It Why are you talking like this? Maybe we can do pictures of the Renaissance Ladies and stuff. If it can be done, fine, we'll do memberships. Free memberships only. That's Fuck this. Cool, I'm going to create a sock and join the memberships. Uh, she's a mean, ugly Dollar Tree store version of Chantel. Yeah, dick one, Go to fucking hell, Negs! I hope you go to hell! Uh, minus the likability that version would have. You know, like, like, uh, Fwanky, he looks like, uh, he looks like Amber Lynn Reed's, uh, brother or something. He looks like Amber Lynn Reed with a fucking beard. And then we can have <laughs> members-only streams, but it'll just be everyone. Oh, I hell. think that's cool. Let me see if we can do this. That will be fun. Yes. Oh, uh, can we get to the feeder part where your feeder sent you a big box of stuff? Oh, there we go. There we go. So, one of her mods, like, let me just say something. Let me just thank this person who sent her this box. I ain't even mad. I ain't even mad. Thank you for sending her this box. This is the fucking best locale moment of all time. Here you got Anna, whatever her name is. Anna, the matzo ball soup Jew. I'm a matzo ball Jew. Look at the me. 
Shut up. Fucking insult to all people, really. So, um, they send her a box with all this shit in it that somebody who was just on a weight loss journey six months ago probably shouldn't be eating. You know what? Let's go back. Before we even get into this, let's let's add some zazz, right? Let's add some zazz. Let's go take a look at your channel here. Yeah, let's go back and see. Let's go back in time. Jesus, look, at look, look, look. Uh, you know, hey, uh, hey, Gunt, I want to tell you something. This is a violation of terms of service. See all of these fucking thumbnails with the same person in them? This is a, you're doing it right in the open too, which is crazy. And look how many you do. The greed. Hey, I want to take a look at something here. Okay, 1722. All right, yeah, your views are going down too. Oof. You rode that wave a little too hard because in the beginning you were doing like 39, 40, right? But let's go back. I, I'm not here for that. How to lose, not gain 100 pounds by Foodie Beauty. Okay, so what? This was just seven months ago. You were judging her for being fat. And now here you are opening a box with a bunch of easy cheese and crap in it. Thank you for sending that you to her. Dick one. All hail Dixie Norbus. <laughs> All hail Dixie Norbus. All hail Mandy, too. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the love. Oh, fuck! You know Frankie's on Twitter right now. Try like, send me something. Send me a screenshot. Fuck, Nags is always right. Every day he's giving us L's. I can't handle it. My wife won't fuck me. Uh. So, uh, let's take a look here and see what your first video is like real quick before we... Uh, well, wow, look at you. You still have room here. That's awesome. Best troll, Chewy, is a subscriber. <laughs> Chewy is a subscription box for dogs. She won't get a P.O. box now because she knows I want to send her a present. I want to send her a present. Yeah. The gun is eating dog food, I guess. What was that? Why were you sitting there for seven seconds? Like, look, like, look, she's just totally like, like she doesn't even re Yeah, that's right. You're an anxious, insecure girl. That's right. This is, this is you right here. Anxious, insecure, uncomfortable in your own skin. You dickwad! Go to fucking hell, Niggs! I hope you go to hell! The gun is eating dog food. I guess human food isn't good enough. Yes, give, throw her a damn treat. All hail J. Kim. But this is you, the insecure little girl, right? Right? Daddy walked out on mom. Dad's gone. Pfft, forget it. Mom, no, no, no. Banging every dude on the block. You're in your room, fucking listening to, I don't know, Blink-182, drowning it out. And now here you are, you've eaten yourself into oblivion, and you think that you're going to cure your low self-esteem by exploiting somebody else's addiction and their problem, right? But the only thing is you realize shortly after that, that it doesn't work out, right? So here you are, right around here is when I discovered you, right? Around this mark here, right? Is when you, are you allowed at the funeral? So... I mean, not working out real good for you, because here you are opening a box. It is so, so heavy. I'm, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> okay, so I, I just covered up the address thing on top. So wait a minute, we're gonna fish out the letter, and we're gonna give you a little back. Okay, honey, you've you've gained weight. You've gained weight. This is what they do, right? I, it makes me sad. I'm sorry. I gotta shift gears. I'm now I'm now feeling I'm feeling some sympathy. Like, she, the last picture, you can tell she gained weight. It's obvious that she gained weight, right? It's obvious. So, like, I don't understand. You started out as a weight loss journey, and now here you are opening a box with junk food and lying about people and being a disgusting person while you sit there and call Chantel a disgusting person. You are Chantel. You have become Chantel. How's it feel? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, I got the letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her karma came quick. I can't believe it. It took MFW four years to get hers. I can't believe the gun. Look, look, bro, bro, what? No, hang on, no. 
Yo, look. Yo. Gut, look. Yo. <laughs> Why, dude? What have you done? It's from just saying. Hmm? It says, disclaimer, to anyone who watches, never FaceTime from a supermarket with someone when they are high as fuck. XOXO, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I got I, I got the perfect laugh. I got it. I got it right here. Where's it at? No, here it is. Okay, my bad. It was... <laughs> Backstory to the box. So, just saying calls me from the Winn-Dixie, all right? Uh, looking for some hair stuff that I rave about. They don't have it at the Winn-Dixie. Jing the Lab, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. What's in the box? Who's Verbal Kent? I don't know who the hell is Verbal Kent, but we're about to see what's in the box. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> All right, so she called me about the hair stuff in the Winn Dixie. The Winn Dixie doesn't have the hair stuff, but I, I'm high as a. I don't know. Guys, I'm not making fun of her or anything. I have Tourette's. If, if my, I mean seriously, I shouldn't be judged for my Tourette's. I say high as a kite. Frankie shouldn't be judging me for my Tourette's either, and he can't prove I don't have Tourette's. So if he can't prove anything anyway. But. Considering what Chantal's been lately, I've smoked the devil's lettuce. Mm? And I got hmm. curious. Ah. And I was like, oh, take me to the beer aisle, take me here, take me there, show me snacks, show me this, show me that. And there was so much cool stuff that we don't have in Canada because of. Sorry, stop it, don't have a can. Hang on. Sorry, it's called stop it, don't have a can. We don't make called stop in Canada. Now, we don't make called stop in Canada. But when they find it, it's like a maple syrup, I'm a big part of dirt on my butt. What are you doing? What are you doing with your lips? What is that? The packaging laws here. Things have to be packaged here in English and French, right? So we don't get all Did it, Is it in Braille? Because you're fucking blind. All your cool stuff. A box of stuff that we think maybe the other one can't get, or just just cool stuff that well for me, I wanted to get her stuff, maybe she can't get there, but I think she was getting me stuff that would Make my stoner heart happy. Redman, thank you so much for the super. What are you fucking? <laughs> you Robert De Niro? <laughs> Chat. I may be one of the ba of the babies here. I'm 20. Oh, cute. But you have set a standard for me. I aim to be as amazing as you are one day. Damn it! Love you a bunch of. Girl, that is that is so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Don't aspire. She says she's 185 pounds. Bitch, please. I'm five foot motherfucking ten, and I'm almost 185 pounds. Yo, look, you can see the definite. You can see my neck. Hey, Jake, look, Jake, I got a man's neck. See that, Jake? That's a man's neck. Yeah, you like it? She's got a man's neck too. You should be envious. Aspire to be a million times better than I am. Okay, learn from my mistakes and be. A much better person than me. Learn. Yes, uh, dude. The moment you were born, everything was better than you. The doctor dropped you, and he's like, "Oh shit!" And then like there was like some I don't know afterbirth on the floor. He picked that up, put that in the incubator, and just left. That's how you know he's like, "Ah oh, fuck it." Whatever. From my mistakes though, because I have. Fun. I think they slid you under the cabinet. And you laid there for a couple days. It was like mm, everything along the way. So there can there can be lessons taken from my fuckery. All right. From your fuckery. Yeah, hey, Gunt's audience, her fuckery consists of are you allowed at the funeral and your mom don't have dementia. She's just trying to forget your dumb ass. Okay, y'all, let's get into the box. Let's see. Let's just say and pick for my stoner heart. Dude, I'm look. Sorry, so the first item caught my eye because uh, we don't fucking have this here. And holy crap. Ah. Hang on a second. Ah. 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 A little tater Ah. Uh, Dill pickle, flaming hot lays. Uh, it's the only lay you're gonna get. You guys, just flaming hot everything in the states. Like we don't have this. This is not a thing for us. We have. Yeah, I know. We know sex isn't a thing for you. You don't have to tell. Flaming hot Cheetos. We have flaming hot Doritos. 
You have flaming hot Doritos. <laughs> okay. You have flaming hot crotch too, probably. I think that's where the flaming hot ends in this country. No, the flaming hot ends before it even gets to you. But that is fucking awesome. <laughs> of course, you're fat. They're chips. Of course, it's awesome. Oh my god, this one's funny. This is funny. Holy shit. Do you know that. Oh, look, you got laid twice. That's gotta be a record. We do not have ranch chips like this in Canada. I have never seen Lay's Ranch in this country before in my life, mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. Maybe other places in Canada do, but I can tell you, Quebec, we are just not a ranch people. <laughs> We're not a ranch people. I don't like ranch. I don't understand y'all's like fascination with the ranch. Why do you keep pulling your lips in? Is that from the Depico? Is that a side effect of, of Depico? At all. I think it's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But I'm very <laughs> curious to see what a ranch chip... Have you guys had... I mean, like, uh, you're curious to see what how much weight you're going to gain from eating that box? I mean, look at you. Look at the state of you. You have the nerve to judge anybody's fucking health or mental health or anything. You have the balls to sit there and pretend that you are better than anyone. Because you have a couple... You know, you, I got some subs on YouTube. It's, that's the most important you've ever been in your life. Because nobody in your real life gives a shit about you. You're unimportant. Because if you meant anything to anybody in your real life, you wouldn't be this miserable cunt on the internet, would you? No, you wouldn't. Ranch chips? Is this like a popular thing in the States? Oh my god, it must be because... Oh, no, but a popular thing is the Second Amendment because of stalkers. Tiffany is losing her shit right now in the chat. No ranch chips! Girl, I have never seen ranch chips like that. Like, Lay's Ranch is like a mainstream. You are fucking talking about ranch potato chips for too long. But you're fat, so never mind. Oh, yeah, okay, wait. I'm wait. sorry. Good point, Sarah Kay. Flaming Hot uh, Nitro Takis. You're right, we do have the Flaming Hot Takis. I forgot the Takis. You are right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Ranch is life. Y'all, y'all, what the I bet you I did it. That, man, whoever, whoever the feeder is that sent her this box, I please somebody tell me who it is so I can, like, pay them to send another care package. The ranch. Cut it with the ranch. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, uh, the U.S. ranch uh, everything, too. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, Raven Lunatic, you are right. Chantal is gonna be so jealous. Oh, that's not only that I have forbidden snacks. Oh, oh, the, you, oh. So you're, oh, so you would rather make the 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 fat girl with the food addiction jealous with food than just make her jealous with being better than her? No, you are Chantal. Oh my God, you don't even see it. All of you are. Every single person. Acrophobe, Mary Beth, Dee Dee, Raven, Zoe, Sarah, Jace, Jesse, Tracy, Aya Jade. All of you are Chantel. Oh, does that bother you that I'm referencing your your super chatters? Well, I think that you you don't you seem don't don't uh, you seem to be deaf and have selective hearing because you're in my Discord server, picking and choosing what you could play victim with while. Your own lies are right there within it. So you're admitting that, yeah, I know I know, I lied, and I know it's there, but I'm not going to acknowledge that. It's what you're admitting. I trolled you. You're doing my bidding. And I've been transparent about it, and you're still doing it! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Yeah, She's oh, contraband. She's contraband in this country. I love it. <laughs> oh, just saying. thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, I, I insist on getting is. married in Vegas just to go to the USA to go to Walmart and get snacks. <laughs> okay, just saying. Okay, gotcha. All right. <laughs> I'm from Australia. Best wedding ever. You're acting like a fucking spaz over a bag of chips. Oh, but you're fat, so, I mean, yeah. You're just really proud that you're going to make another fat girl jealous with food. <laughs> like... How does this happen? How? No regrets. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, no, it's really one piece of skin. I love it's that. just one Damn. piece of skin. Well, if you ever decide to move from Australia, something tells me you would do real well in the States. You've got the heart of an American with that. <laughs> You've got the heart of John Candy in his final moments. I love it. Hey, no hate at all. I love I love a Walmart. 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 <laughs> Yes. Okay. SJ. Great point. Canada is to ketchup as America is to ranch. I think you might be right because just saying, just so you know. What? Ketchup. Ketchup's gross. Ketchup's like what kids eat, right? Uh, you got everything ketchup in that box. <laughs> I got you, got I got you ketchup fucking everything, okay? So I... <laughs> you put ketchup on everything, huh? Yes, yeah. Ketchup to ranch. Adorable. <laughs> All right. What else is going on here? What else? Sorry, I just made money. Is this a troll because of Pete's? 
TikToks. No, it's a troll because you're fat. wrong with you <laughs> what is wrong with you so funny girl we have kick-out here but i thought i thought we had kick-out you guys they have kick-out because i got you kick-out for your box because i thought that was a canadian <laughs> sinatra says does a lot of just saying stuff but he's not in it for the drama guys he just wants to leech off of the people who are out here fucking propping up mentally ill schizophrenic psychopaths <laughs> oh my god Peach hard out pete <laughs> oh my god wait should i warm them up under my under boob Hmm. Are you trying to ruin everybody's appetite? Are you trying to give us a visual that will most surely push us all to full Stevie Wonder? Ray Charles. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Anybody blind? Your, your audience. Your audience. They're blind. It's the same if I don't. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Rose Thorn Beats is jealous. When you see the Kit Kats and think of a YouTuber's boyfriend, you got fucking issues. Shit. Fuck me. Oh, this is, oh, by the way, this is your roast gun. This is probably one of many. I see that because I want to go back and show you something. I, I have endurance, and I could do this a lot longer than you ever dream of doing it. So uh, let's take a look here at your channel again. Yeah. Yeah, let's see here. All foodie beauty videos for like, what, four months now? Yeah. Where are my videos? Where are my videos? Oh, you mean this one? With people, or that Charlie was the one who put out her own fucking mugshot. Are you stupid? The things that Nuggets is commenting on, even in... This one? How could anybody... This one? This one that you ignore all the time? Where's this one at? Miss Victim? Miss Darvo, where's this one at? Why isn't this on your channel? It's not, you're not ashamed of it, are you? It's on my channel. Look at that. There it is. You guys go check it out if you want to. Let's go back and watch her freak out about food. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Where's it? Oh, my God. It's more food. I can't believe it. I'm so wet. Trolley, sour, bright llamas. <laughs> Wow, I have never really watched one of your videos that wasn't just you being a hateful cunt, right? This is f you, wow. Lamas? <laughs> you are fucking killing me. Should I take an, <gasps> I should make a troll video napping on the llamas. Let me look on the llamas and live stream for six hours. <laughs> my personality and my worth value in life revolves around another person having an addiction. <laughs> That's girl, you are a fucking comedian, man. You're a fucking comedian, man. Why do you say it like are you from Jamaica? I man! Then I was man! Swab in the deck, man! Comedian Oh, oh wait. Oh Oh, brick a cut crack. Yeah, that should help you with that weight loss. I mean, hopefully it starts at your neck because I'm afraid you're going to trip over your fucking gobbly gooker there and injure yourself. I don't know what this is, but it's bubble wrap, so it must be good. Hold up, we're going in. She laughs like she has limited lifespan. Well, I mean, that is the case, right? Oh my God, and there's two of them, whatever they are. Oh, wait. This is so funny. So, guys, you know what? I'm sorry. I hate to announce to you all. I hate to announce to you all that we all have to create channels. And we have to address the Gunt's eating disorder because that's what this is all about, this foodie beauty stuff, right? All these channels, they just want to help. I mean, they just want to help, so why wouldn't we want to help another morbidly obese person with a drug problem? I'm just saying. I mean, stay with me on this. Don't judge me. Just hear me out. I mean, that's why everybody makes these videos, isn't it? It's because they are they care, correct? So we would be remiss if we didn't care about the gut's obvious eating disorder, an obvious drug problem, an obvious untreated mental illness. I mean, I'm just trying to keep that energy. That's all. I don't want to be a hypocrite. 
I should rename the stream when we're done to like stoner unboxes munchies or just eat your heart out Chantal Marie. <laughs> or you can just call it fat girl creams your corn over Kit Kat. <laughs> Ooh. Hot sauce? Ooh, Skyline chili hot sauce. Ooh, girl. I have never seen this in Canada. I don't know what this is. Hey, that increases your chances of somebody going down on you. But I love it. I am a spicy bitch, and I spice absolutely everything up, so I will be doing shots. No, you're not a spicy bitch. You're a nasty bitch. There's a difference. Lots of this later. Ooh, love it. Let's see what the other thing is. I don't know what they do. Did they send you a replica of my wiener? <laughs> okay, no hate to your culture, okay? I don't think America really has a culture. We, we, you know, you know why we really don't. I mean, there are cultures, but we have freedoms, and we use those freedoms to express ourselves. So whatever. If you consider only a fat girl would consider easy cheese part of a fucking culture. Food is. <sighs> this is something that they don't sell in Canada, or if they do, Lord knows I have never seen this here ever. Y'all, it is cheese in a can. Cheese in a can. Elwood. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What she sounds like. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Woman's friend. No one doesn't have a friend. <laughs> because he's shy. No, he's not. He's fat and he's stupid. <laughs> Get out of my house. Where is Owen? Owen went bowling. I run Owen. I'll be back in a minute. I run my bath. I run my medicine. I can get it for you. Who the hell are you all of a sudden? Let me hang it up for you. I said, hide a medicine, Josh. Damn it. Know. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> you know all that food's gone, right? And you know those pictures she's posting of food on her Instagram that she uh, that she takes from other places, right? Why 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 do you think she's not in them? Why do you think there's nothing really I, that you can um, identify in repetition in her pictures? Run them through a reverse background background search, or I'm sorry, a reverse image search. I'm sorry, but I guarantee that easy cheese. She was taking the fucking uh, ranch. Uh, I am so curious. To cheese in a can. What can that I bet be? she finished the can and then repurposed it, if you know what I mean. What? What can that even... Cheese Whiz? Oh! Luxie says it's like Cheese Whiz. Okay, we have Cheese Whiz here, but it comes in like a glass pot. You need a knife. Oh, I'm sure you use like a soup spoon or something. That? I could see me high at 3 a.m. doing shots of this. <laughs> I could see you not high, crying in your bed doing it at t noon. That is so funny. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Space. <laughs> no man wants me. <laughs> I forget what a penis feels like. <laughs> wait, let's grab you some Ritz crackers, girl. Yo, Chantal, eat your fucking heart out, man. <laughs> wow. Fuck me. How did I miss out on this fucking milk? Dude, she is a fuck it. I mean, I knew she was a lol cow, but I didn't know it was this bad. I had no idea the severity of it. This is fucking mad cow disease right here. Holy shit. This is this this is too much buttermilk. I don't deserve this. I really don't deserve this. By the way, the stream will be going on Rumble. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. So, gloves are off. Uh, it's going on Rumble, but dude, she is a fucking lol cow from hell, bro. Yo, she is literally giddy that another fat girl with an eating disorder is going to be jealous of another fat girl with an eating disorder. What the fuck? All these people are Chantel. It's gross. <laughs> She's going to be so jealous. Just saying, you get ready. She's going to hit you up in the DMs like, hey, just saying, I always loved your channel. I'm so not a hater of you. Can you send me one of those boxes too? <laughs> 
Isn't it ironic that a feeder sent you that box and you are a feeder? You're a feeder. You are. You're a feeder of the worst kind because you sit at home and stuff your gullet with, what, three, 4,000 calories a day? That's, you've been doing that pretty steady for the last six months, we can tell. Okay? But you sit there and judge somebody else, right? But you want, but you're also like, ha, eat your heart out. I got a whole can of Easy Cheese. What you gonna do, bitch? Uh, what you gonna do, get a bucket and drink cheese with? What are you doing here? Is, is this like, is this like the Hunger Games? <laughs> I mean, do it. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a new one. I'm a bad Midwesterner. Michelle, I'm disappointed. Michelle, I figure somebody that lived in the Midwest would at least have some common sense because we live around common sense. But that's a disappointing, Michelle. Michelle, same questions. Were you allowed at the funeral or is your mom just trying to forget your dumb ass? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, girl. I'm a bad Midwesterner. I hate ranch and mayo, LOL. Yay. <laughs> Keep reviewing her. What goes around comes around. Well, I mean, her whole channel is nothing but Chantel. How many videos do I have on this dumpy broad? You dickwad! Go to fucking hell, Niggs! I hope you go to hell! How many times have I put this dumpy broad? Why aren't you showing yourself below here? Why don't you get up and lift your shirt up? Let's see it. I want to see it. I want to see the gun in person. I would pay to see the gun. If she would start an OnlyFans with just the gun, I would definitely subscribe to review the gun. <laughs> now, I mean, like, do what y'all want, right? No ranch hate, no man. Not our it's Michelle, no. Like, no Michelle is a very common name. I can't stand either one. And so is mine, Ron. Those things, oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> Openly objective. Oh, that's fucking rich. Openly objective, huh? Okay. Yeah, we'll just, I'm going to, I'm going to, you look like you might have a channel, right? I'm going to go see what kind of content you're putting out. Openly objective. Thank you so much for the super chat. First impression video, eating non-Canadian goodies. Oh. <laughs> that could be done. That could be fun. I'm going to need to get a little more done. You're a fucking clown. <laughs> you're a dancing monkey. They give you money and you just dance for it. You don't know what else to do. You just laugh like a fucking weirdo. It's totally fake. Everything about you is fabricated, 100% false. Nothing about you is genuine. You're a liar, you're a con, you're a fraud. You are defrauding the Canadian government of disability money. It's crazy. You and Jake Jonas both out there committing disability fraud in broad daylight. <laughs> but we will get into this. Hold on. Oh wait, I see something. And this was my one request. Oh, just said, yeah, you are so cute. She asked me one thing that like, if I knew something, right, that I like, and I said, oh my God, I used to go to Florida all the time when I was a kid. And we used to go nuts for combos. And they don't have combos in Canada. And I looked them up on Amazon. Holy fuck. This is just one big food blog. They are so fucking ridiculously expensive to buy in Canada. I was like, nope. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm getting fucking wrecked. This is what I'm eating tonight. It's the combos. It's all tight. Thank you so much. How did your mouth get that small? Look how fucking tiny your fucking weird little mouth got. What the fuck? You're a fucking reptile, bro. So fucking ridiculously Look at you. expensive to buy in Canada. I was like, nope. Look at, what the f- No, uh-uh, you're a fucking reptile. Stop it. Stop it right now. So fucking ridiculously expensive to buy a Canada house. Like, no. Fucking meme, holy shit. <laughs> oh man, I've been missing out. But I had to get I had to be able to look at you because I felt the same way about you that MFW. I can look at you now because you're so sad. But like, oh my god, I hi. Hi, French fried girl. Remember me? Remember me? The anti hater. I'm not an anti hater, I'm Negs, and you're a French fried girl. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to my Nickel Freak Show. Oh my god, you're so... Watch, it gets worse! She don't have a job. This is what I mean tonight. It's... Your mouth is that big! That fucking big right now! Oh, this is 
Just saying as a feeder too. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Just saying as a feeder. Look, Callie's fat. Shane fucking ugly. The gun is fat. Fucking Charlie Gold is fucking fat. Ops is fucking fat. DC looks like a goddamn fucking zombified wax fucking statue. What the fuck? Why aren't any of you attractive in the slightest? Like, there's nothing redeemable about you. Talentless. You all react to the same... Oh, uh, fuck! I fucking triggered Frankie. I triggered Frankie. God damn it. I'm going to have nightmares tonight from this. Like, look at you. God. You are literally fat and excited over food. Do you not see the problem here? Or you just like, is that your shtick? You're like, yeah, I'm a fucking fat food addict. Yeah, what of it? That's why I can react to another fat food addict. What? So let's 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 uh let's let's, let's go by your logic here for a second, gun. So you got a mugshot out there, a bloody mugshot, right? From beating a dude's ass because you're that fucking tough, right? I think the mugshot's probably from something else, and I don't think that you were defending yourself. And we're gonna find out two hundred fifty dollars. So, but I want, but. <laughs> So you, you have that out there. You flex that motherfucker all the time. And then you go around and perpetuate lies about me being a, a woman abuser, right? So uh, it would be it would be basic equality if we if we got in a fight, right? Oh, my God. All right, I'll just look at Nobody pissed in my Cheerios. It's just 11 o'clock and I'm bored. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm waiting on my eBay uh, customers to pay their tabs. That's what I'm waiting on. More combos. There's more combos. Oh my god, just saying. This is like Christmas, but it's the summer. Ooh. Oh, there's there's an an you can't eat that, okay? It's probably not edible. I just want to let you know. Ooh. Ooh. Mary Beth Wiley combos. I haven't had those in years, yum. Yeah, man. Same. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm fat, man. My BMI is super high, man. Look at me, man. My life expectancy is 43 years old, man. Same. Same. <laughs> oh, blue country lover. What are combos? Combos is like, it's like a bit of pretzel with take like stuff on it. Or in it, I should say. And they come in all different flavors. Like, like cheddar cheese baked pretzel. Pizzeria baked pretzel. She beat oh. it. Look how excited wait, wait. you are. Influencer. Influencer. Yeah, you're influencing me. You influence people to, I don't know, commit genocide uh, or suicide. One of the two. You, 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 it's, it's either Idi Amin or Jim Jones. What are we doing here? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Let's see. Oh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Please go plug that in and use it and chill the fuck out. You shove it in your mouth and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mom bought me a weed grinder. Ah, oh, I mean a spice grinder. Oh. Uh, weed's legal here, but I'm gonna call it a spice grinder because you know I'm worried about breaking terms of service. Looks at your channel already doing that. My look at look at it's a grinder for the herb. Ah, just saying you are fucking wild, <laughs> man. That. Hey, you're wild, man. There you are, man. Yeah, welcome to Jamaica, man. Welcome to the IRE life. Yeah, you feel me, man. Are you vibing with me now, man? You want to eat some chocolate donuts with me, man? Shut up. Girl, you know me. <laughs> you like you have like six different accents going on there. You're like, hey, yo, Adrian. How you doing, man? Ah, yeah. Well, fucking forget about it, Paulie. Give me a fucking chocolate donut and some fucking insulin, would you? Hey. She's a box of munchies and a fucking grinder. If that's not me in two items, like, 
you love me. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so much, Justin. I would have loved to see your face buying this. And how I'm. Oh wow! No, yeah. Every time I go to buy a grinder, I'm like. <laughs> comfortable it probably made you and that makes me appreciate it even more thank you so much oh i know making people uncomfortable really really appeals to you doesn't it holy shit that is fucking amazing man. <laughs> i can't believe it oh my god can't smoking weed is her personality smoking weed and being fat Harry butler thank you so much for the super chat girl just ask hubby how far away is montreal from here i have bpd <laughs> Four hours raises eyebrows. Hey, four hours is not. I have BPD. What's that? I mean, like, fuck, if she gets a pass, I get a pass. <laughs> Chantal does it how many times a week, right? Those four hour trips? <laughs> somebody, yeah, you know what somebody needs to do? They need to grind up about six pounds of Depakote and just walk. Cause she's not taking her meds and just wait for her to go down the snack aisle at whatever fucking weird Canadian market it is. And they'd be like, hey, and she turns around and be like, Poof! gotcha, bitch, and run. <laughs> Oh my God, living a spoonie life. Who wants to do a snack box exchange? Y'all are jelly, huh? Ah. Did you say snack box? Do you, where are you from? Show us outside that window. Go on, show us outside that window. Everybody wants to do snack boxes. We should do that at Christmas time. We'll do like Secret Santa, but it'll just snacks and we'll send it all to each other. Mm -hmm. And I'll send you all poutine sauce. <laughs> What, are you trying to increase their chances of getting laid too? That's not gonna fly in America. We're just gonna be like, oh, she's extra nasty. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Rose Thorne, it's a weed grind. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Oh no, no. Were you allowed to go to the funeral? Can't say weed. It's a spice grinder. You put your oregano in there and you don't- Why are you sitting here being a fake bitch for? You know this isn't who you are. You're being so fucking fake. You fooling all these people who have no self-esteem, have no self-worth. Mary Wiley's out of her motherfucking mind. I heard her say she wished Chantel would trip and fall and impale herself on something. Who the fuck says that? What did Chantel do to Mary Beth Wiley, I wonder? Hmm. Show me on the lighter. Show me on the lighter where, where Chantel touched you guys. Go on. Charlie, show me on the lighter. We need to chop it up with a scissor and it's done. <laughs> just saying that. Oh, just saying it's never again. LOL. I cannot believe you did that, girl. Oh, that is. You should have made yourself a video going to buy. Did she say Spoonie Life? Oh, she's a matzo ball. Uh, she's a matzo ball Jew with an eating disorder in the Spoonie Life. I don't know much about that, but I've heard people claim that one. I, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've been there before. She's going to claim whatever she can to be marginalized. I relate to everybody. I, too, am an oppressed black woman. That and how uncomfortable I know that made you. That is so, so fun. I'm telling you, when you know it killed somebody to buy something. <laughs> that makes me love it so much more, girl. <laughs> You're so fucking goddamn fake. Nobody acts like this in real life, by the way. Like, you could come over and hang out with me, and if I'm making fun of somebody, I'll do all that animated shit I just did 10 minutes ago right there in front of you. I don't care. You don't act like this in real life. You sit around and I live in your head rent free. It's like a penthouse. And it's stocked with easy cheese and ranch and combos and insulin. <laughs> that is hilarious. I mean, uh, you were so right. Damn it. Okay. Listen to everybody. If, if just saying ever gives you any advice, don't question it ever. Just go, okay. Don't question it ever. You know what I'm saying, Mon? Hey, man, don't you question things ever. Forgot about it. Whatever you say. Okay. You know, when she said, I didn't want to come live tonight. I was in such a bad mood. Such a bad mood. I was so quiet today. Just saying thought that I had such a bad mood. I'm on. Been banned on Twitter. And she's going to be like, I got no what you know. And then today, they go bit, bit, Jerry and all that. Day, you pissy ass cunt. That's why I wasn't tweeting all day. Um, and she told me, no, come do the live. Trust me when I tell you what's in that box is going to cheer you up. Man, she was fucking right. <laughs> Did she, did she send you some Narcan and some insulin? These are like a couple things you might need. This is wild. Okay, all right. Let's go back into the box. Because if you can't control... I'm glad, I'm glad you don't use any more drugs than marijuana because look at you. You can't even control... You were on a weight loss journey six months ago and you're going to see her and not an iceberg to camera open a box with 7,000 calories in it and pretend that you have some kind of credibility and you're not a fucking lolcal. Frankie, holy shit, bro. You keep like aligning yourself... Frank, when are you going to realize that you guys are locals? I know your your community really likes to label people that. 
and you, you think that you got one up on everybody. But the moment you're dishonest and you act like this, you're a fucking low cow, man. When you choose not to go on a panel and prove all the claims you've made against somebody, that's low cow shit, bro. Well, well, oh my god. Oh my god, it's the combos. Combos? <laughs> That's why I love it. Uh, Dreaming Fool 2, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. I wonder who's the worst influence. Just saying, or French fry girl, love you both. It's it's me. Um, it's me. I'm going to take the heat. I'm going to say it a second time. The, she called me with one question, and it was about a hair product, okay? This was all me. <laughs> what? Who called you? She's an enabler. <laughs> Good God. You you've never been loved in your life. You've been you've been a pump and dump station your whole life. You oh he's gonna take me to a movie. Oh little poke in the whiskers in the back of the fucking uh, Miata, and off you go home to cry and drip dry. <laughs> yeah, but it was all me. Yeah, but she's an enabler. <laughs> Did I just yeah, but my who am I kidding? Nobody's had sex with you. Obesity onto somebody else. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh. Reese's Puff. This is sped up 1.25. Bar? We don't have Reese's Puff Bar. We only have Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. We have Reese's Pieces. You need a fucking Depakote Bar is what you Ooh. need. Ooh, I don't know what this is about. This looks awesome. That All that food's gone, too. All that food's gone. I guarantee she I guarantee she will She would try to say that it's not. I guarantee it. I wouldn't believe it unless I saw pictures. I'm just saying, holy crap. Sarah says, I'm a little behind, but my grinder is the exact same color. Oh, grinder twinsies. I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, she tried to figure out how to how to uh, Dorva her way out of this one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Or, I'm sorry, Darva. Is she tried to figure out how to Darvo her way out of this one? It sounds like Parvo. It, it basically is human Parvo. I'm trying to keep up here, guys. <laughs> so, this, is, this is my first time doing an unbox one. I'm sorry if I'm fucking it up. Uh Oh, this deadbeat just spent a thousand dollars on VIP Slipknot passes. So, uh, I speak out. Thank you so much for the super chat. You should react to Amberlynn. I mean, I'm not trying to flex. I did save for it, but I mean, I'm wow, such a deadbeat. And break up tarot card reading. It's pretty interesting, is it? Anna, or whatever your name is, were you allowed at your dad's funeral? Were you allowed at your mom's funeral? Were you allowed at your uncle's funeral? Your cousin's funeral? Um, I don't know how many bodies are in your backyard. Any heads in your freezer? Like, Anna, the only reason you're on Twitter even trying to defend yourself right now, or whatever your name is, I don't care what your name is, it doesn't matter, uh, it is because you know that I, I've got you dead to rights. You took back your apology, remember? You, apo you, you took back apologizing for asking if I was allowed at my son's funeral. So that means you're a bigger piece of shit and a fucking liar. You don't take back apologies like that, right? You don't just go, oh, I take that back. I, that means you meant it. What kind of piece of shit says that? I appreciate you taking it back, though, because it's going to be a fun week. Okay, I will definitely. You're talking about Aphrodite's video, eh? I haven't seen it, but I've heard about it. I'll go check it out. I'll go check it out, see if there's anything I can add to that conversation. Definitely. Thanks, girl. Public knowledge. Hey, girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, get ready for your snacks, girl. Devil lettuce. You know I am always. And I was so lazy today. And let me tell you after. So lazy today. What's new? Is this, what, is this just a typical Tuesday? Is this a down day? Like, you were so lazy, but tomorrow you're going to be fucking really lazy? What? You ain't got no job. You ain't making no money. You don't know anything about my life either. You want to sit there on Twitter and be like, hey, you know about my life. Were you the, the funeral next? What are you talking about? You keep making a fool of yourself. No, I'm making a fool of you. Your shitty ass, long ass, shitty ass day. I was like, no, I am not even rolling tonight. It's the pre-rolls for me. I got some pre-rolls, and I was like, fuck the world. <laughs> Don't care. Bad day. I'm not doing anything today. I bet those curtains haven't been opened in a week. <laughs> Donald Duck, thanks again for the Super Chat, girl. Try the Cheese Whiz on live, I beg you. Yeah. Please eat something on film. Please eat on camera. Uh... <laughs> Please eat on camera. Please do that. I, I don't know about that. You, you know those freaks are going to clip that and turn it into something. I don't even want to know. But oh, are you afraid to be yourself? What's the matter? You can't show your true colors on the screen because we know as soon as this camera went off, you hit. <laughs> I can't have sex with nags. <laughs> but I will think about that. <laughs> oh, Bloom, uh, hang on. Bloom uh, Country Lover, 
French fry girl, I'm, I'm betting that you sent just saying some ketchup chips, LOL. Um, I said, I'm sorry. I just noticed your sloped forehead. You have alcohol. You've had, you have fetal alcohol syndrome, don't you? So you're definitely disabled. Okay. Her all the ketchup chips in all of Montreal. Any flavor I could find. I'm sorry. Fetal alcohol syndrome is not funny. This is an educational stream. I'm not throwing shade. I'm not insulting anybody. I'm giving you guys educational information. Brand that I could find. I wanted her to try every company's version of the ketchup chip. One is just not enough. And, and ketchup, the idea of a ketchup chip grosses her out. And I think that's funny. <laughs> because I can imagine okay, okay, eating, like grow up a ketchup chip. That sounds sick. Okay, ketchup chip. I'll be sure. I'll be sure. Like, of course, I couldn't believe you guys don't have ketchup chips. That is just insane to me. How? Is it true that you also don't have all dressed ruffles? Is it true that you don't have treadmills or gyms in Canada? Please tell me that. That can't be true. Because, like, y'all have ranch and you don't have all dressed ruffles? Is it true <laughs> that your food pyramid <laughs> consists of meat? They can't be. I'm literally waiting for this answer because <gasps> Lil Miss Press says, no, we don't. She out there on Twitter having a meat sweats, ain't she? Rose Thorn, no, we don't? No, her beef curtains have been opened in years either. <laughs> Clover Diamond, all dressed, question mark? Oh, well, well, well. I cannot believe you guys don't have all dressed. What the fuck? Just the fact that she's disinvested in fucking ketchup chips. Who keeps up with all types of chips? It would, I mean, come on, Missy. She's only filming herself from here up. Ranch, just take up all the space. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Lindsay, the fuck is all dressed? You might want to get your CPAP. You're sounding a little wheezy. I mean, <laughs> all dressed chip is like... What, wait, what the hell would it actually be? It's like a... A ketchup and a salt and vinegar. Is it too late for me to say that all of this is just satire? And maybe a little barbecue spice in that? No, there's maybe not barbecue. It's a, it's a whole lot of stuff. It's an assault to the senses, but damn, they are fucking bomb, man. Little Miss Pris is her mod. Yeah, whatever. Huh. Oh, okay. Whatever. Some people some people do shit like that if they don't feel like they're getting enough of my attention. And they think that'll get their, my attention. I don't give a fuck. Katie Botello <laughs> says we do in Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> Miranda Henderson, all dressed fantastic. I'm glad you agree. Damn, those are whoa, those are so fucking good. I can't I'm just surprised because they're freaking popular here. How could you guys not? You've been going on about food. Hang on a second. Let's let's see here. For 20 minutes, you have been raving and creaming your corn over potato chips and Kit Kats and how jealous the other fat girl is going to be. Like, wow. Wow. Look, what if I told you I don't give a fuck if any of you are jealous of me? I know you are. Frank's jealous of me. I could do what Frank does. I could, I could go play that, that fat M Masmagorpia whatever game on Twitch and get more views than Frank, right? Because there's going to be something redeeming about it. It's not just going to be like, come here, let me smack your butt, Brandon. Minecraft server. Hi, kids. Where's Shabisky? Bluebird says, but they're hard to find. I love all dressed, but not the ketchup. How do you guys not like the ketchup? I'm telling you, maybe the ketchup is like in our DNA. Maybe that. Uh, chips are like the most healthiest thing in the world. She could have gotten a package after about after being on a weight loss journey channel. Insert sarcasm. <laughs> That's why we all like the ketchup. You got yeah, domestic violence users use assault as a casual verb. The chips assault your senses. That's right. That's right. She's been she's been beat up so bad that she's not triggered by anything relevant to domestic violence. One, she's lying. She explained one. Okay, let me tell you how bad she is, and you guys can do with this what you want. DC Media Girl won't even give you proof. I'll give you proof. There's a video on my channel of her DM dump, okay? Let's talk about that for just a second. There's a video on my channel of her DM dump. Right, right here. Let me just let me just throw that in the chat real quick. There we go. There we go. That's a DM dump where she is caught in 4K being anti-Semitic. And then she... All of a sudden pulls a box of matzo ball soup out and says, what goy has this in their cabinet? That that was how she said, that's how she was like, I'm Jewish, I can't be anti-Semitic, when she was caught being anti-Semitic. And, and she somehow darvoed her way out of that one too. 
So she sits here and exploits a whole fucking uh, a whole fucking culture to shield herself from cancellation because she believes in cancel culture. Uh, she's been homophobic. She darbos her way out of that because she don't want to be canceled because she's on disability. And if this doesn't work for her, she has nothing else to, to fall back on because she doesn't have a business. Her job's unfuck withable, huh? So she has all this time, all this time to put together these long, you go through four hours of live streams while running her own business. You guys all think it's weird, but I think Ranch is weird. So it, that is the trade off. Yeah, yeah. I think you're weird. So can we like trade you to North Korea or something? We should be able to trade humans. Like I should be like, we, you know, I, I think you, DC. Callie and Shane should all move to North Korea since you guys are all about comply or uh, be punished. You know what I'm saying? I think you guys would thrive in North Korea. They would parade your weird looking asses all over state media to be like, like, oh, we got one. You know, that wasn't that wasn't North Korea. I, I, I couldn't do it. I can't do an Asian accent right now. I'm not, um, I'm not feeling like I'm not feeling like any stereotypes. I don't even feel like my own stereotype today. Mary Beth Wiley says, Frenchie, do you have barbecue chips in Canada? Oh yeah, we have a shit ton of them in like. All I bet you got a shit ton of them in your cabinet. Different weird flavors of ranch and mesquite ranch and sweet ranch and th uh, ranch. Now I got ranch in the brain. Of course you do, cause you're fat. Barbecue. There's all different flavors of barbecue. They're fucking obsessed with the barbecue chips here. Are, oh, I they're obsessed with them. You're, you're obsessed with food. Period. Look at you. Your lips, hat, finito, gone. Full Robert De Niro, right? Slope forehead. Mother shouldn't have drank while she's pregnant with you because you believe that they put that you're Jewish on your passport. I don't know anybody that does that. I don't like them. Can you tell by my tone? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, the Rocket Nikki. I'm American. I hate ranch and I love ketchup. Love you. Yeah, get some sauce. Uh, Kelly LeMay, thank you so much for the super chat. We thank you so much for the super chat. Having everything bagel though, LOL. Girl, we got the everything bagel too. Come on. Girl, we're all fat. Of course we have to eat all the foods. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't kinda, we don't like living in foods and stuff anymore. <laughs> we, we have the everything bagel. I am from the city. Oh, well, this is going to be hate. Okay, listen, come at me, New Yorkers. Montreal bagels are the best fucking bagels on the planet. I don't care what anybody says. Where else have you been? You're a cultured girl. Allegedly from Chicago. Don't believe that. It is what it is, okay? So, yeah, they, they have those there, too. We have the little jars at Costco of the, everything but the bagel seasoning. I bought some. It was fun for a few days, and I got sick of putting it on everything. I'm not going to lie. But I... You got sick of putting it on everything? That's hilarious. You got sick of putting it on everything. I just can't see you getting sick of putting anything on anything and then putting that something into your mouth. I just can't see that happening. I think you're a lie. I think, girl, lies and pies. I did feel like, ooh, influencer queen for a few days, like shaking that shit on my eggs. Oh, you, what, were you influencing young girls to be morbidly obese and a cunt? Yeah, you're good for that. Stuff, you know? uh, Sarah Kay, thank you so much for the super chat. Do you guys have two-in-one, whoops, condiments, EX, mayo, chip? Yes, mayo and ketchup. Yeah, that's, I, I've only seen that here, like, within the past year, I would say. Yeah. You really track the foods, don't you? She's like, all right, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on, what's that? Oh, hang on, hang on, opposite said to me something. New laced potato chips, holy shit. And she's at the store writing them down. Okay, wings, ketchup, oh, hang on a second. Ops, I can't send you any more chips, you know? Fucking customs is getting suspicious. All right, so wings, ketchup, and, and brown eye, awesome, okay. And they came out on uh, August 2nd, 2021, and the serial number is, oh, right, I'm really into my food, really into yeah. it. There's a whole section in Publix in Florida that has different variations. I've seen a few of those, like sriracha mayo, um, yeah, the ketchup mayo, a barbecue sauce mayo, I think that's all we have. Yeah, Lynn Smith. I was I was literally looking for you. Huh, Lynn Smith? I was really looking for my lips. In the chat, I knew you'd have something to say about the bagel. Um, I call...
All right. All hail Mandy. All hail Mandy. I'm Lynn Smith, my bagel buddy, because Lynn Smith knows that the Montreal bagel is far superior to any other fucking bagel in the world. And you can come at us both. We don't care. We know. Hmm? You know all about the bagels, girl. Damn. Look at you. The bagel queen. Ah, oh, no. You know, no, 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 no. You're the Blitz Bagel Bitch. That should be your channel. Yo, welcome to the Blitz Bagel Bitch. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about serial numbers. Oh, 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 one through oh, 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 three, zero, five. All right, buckle up, my Blitz Bagel Bitches. It's on. Um, New York bagels taste like bread. Okay, they do. And if I wanted bread, I would eat bread, but I don't. I want a bagel, so I come to Montreal and eat them the way they're supposed to taste. You eat them the way they're supposed to taste? How do you eat something the way it's supposed to taste? I don't understand. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I got an Amazon card. I'm going to eat this the way it's supposed to taste. It's supposed to taste like a taco. All right, I'm going to go eat the taco. It's a delusion, so it works. I'm doing it to piss you guys off. I'm doing this on purpose. But New York bagels suck. I'm not kidding about that. Stop. Uh, Montreal fat people suck. <laughs> Thank you so much for Super Chat. Possibly, uh, possibly of a future P.O. box. Seems like Girl Gang would love to send you some niche regional goodies. Keep making her fat, please. Keep cramming food down her fucking throat for the love of God. Please keep doing it. Please keep feeding this chick. I mean, because then I'm going to start a French fried girl channel. My every video is going to be nothing but talking about how fat and gross and disgusting she is and stalking her at orange juice festivals. Yo, that would be fun. Should we, should we start doing exchanges? Should we do like you send me stuff? I'm going to send you Montreal stuff. See, that might be worth opening a P.O. box for. I didn't see the point of it before, honest to God. Yeah, where's that P.O. box at? I want to send you something, girl. I got a gift for you. I'm not going to send you poop. And what I send you will be valuable. But I want to send you something. I do. I want to send you a picture. I want to send you a picture. So hook that P.O. box up. But that would be fun, and I think maybe we should do this. Let me look into this. <laughs> this will be fun. Facey McGee. Hey, girl. I love... Actually, no. I'm going to send you a cassette tape. We're going to go old school. I have a cassette, I have a cassette recorder. I'm going to send you a cassette tape message. All the questions that you asked me in public that you just seem to forget that you disrespected me with, I'm going to answer all those, and I'm going to be very frank and sincere with you. And you can play it on the internet if you want. It will just prove that you're an even bigger piece of shit. But I'm going to tell you the things you want to know. I'm going to tell you the dark traumas that you're so curious about, but you're going to have to play them on tape. So open that P.O. box. Love your guts, but you are wrong. <laughs> NYC bagels are not the best. <laughs> Girl, when I get my P.O. box, I'm going to send you uh, a pack of the bagels from Montreal. <laughs> her mouth gets so tiny when we offer her food. Can't hardly get a jelly bean in there. Oof. Good old St. Viators. Me and Gabby were just around the corner from there today. Um, just taste a freshie from Montreal and judge again, okay? okay? You have been talking about food for 25 minutes. Okay, okay. Rob Olivier. It's not a peen pick. No, I, no, I want to send her a message. Sarah, thank you so much for the super chat. I will she could get my peen pick from the Discord server. Pay money to see you eat from the cheese can. I know she's seen my peen pick. I know Frankie has seen it. I know he saw it and went, fuck. Man. Man, he's th that big dick energy. <laughs> Cop confirmed. Bend the nose. <laughs> Those don't exist, retard. Those don't exist. It's not a thing. Like Nazis aren't a thing. Speaking of Nazis, let's talk about Nazi behavior. French Fry Girl, would you say that your viewer that super chatted me by the name of Donald Duck, would you say that getting more information on that was being a little Nazi-like? You're publicly digging up and inciting people to assume things about a, a, an innocent viewer who shared an idea with me, who shared was like-minded. So it's, it's, it's not okay for your people to agree with me, but everybody needs to agree with you. So as long as they don't stray from the pack, see, that's what you're getting yourself into, guys. She's like a fucking brown shirt. She will walk around and police you. Her people will police you. It's disgusting. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. 
Sharon Robbins, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Cheese whiz on combos. Stoner's delight. Holy shit. It's in the Discord server under NSFW 18 and up. I mean, it's there. It's, it's a few days back, but I mean, I can post it again. It's no big deal. It's just a dick. It's just a penis. That's all it is. It's just a dick. I mean, almost everybody's got one. Girl. <laughs> the stone chip. Uh, her name. The creative delicacies that I come up with when I am high as a kite, I call them my stoner creations. That sounds like a stoner creation and a half. And you know what's the one thing that could even top that shit right away? You know what? I'm calling bullshit on all the stuff you post on Instagram, all the food. You're not eating any of that stuff. One, I, I people have, like other people who are a little bit more uh, culinary, uh, uh, versed in the culinary arts uh, have, have picked it apart and said it's trash. Those aren't your pictures. Second of all, so I don't know why you took shit pictures to say, oh, look at what I'm eating. Look at you. You just gushed over ranch chips and easy cheese. And then you're going to go post pictures like, oh, look at all the fancy Gordon Ramsay shit I make. No, you're not. You're sitting there eating fucking, uh, what is it called? Processed fucking pot pies, TV dinners, probably SpaghettiOs out of the can, fucking loaves of bread, jars of peanut butter, fucking uh, goddamn what else? Cans of easy cheese, that type of shit. Edge, a little dash of hot sauce. Of course, you do not cook that stuff you're posting. If you have, you do not like, okay, I understand enjoying some junk food, but you are literally trying to tell everybody that you have these, these, these exquisite culinary tastes, but you're here gushing over junk food. Fucking stop. Stop being fake from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. I know you lay in bed and go, oh, Nace is right. He's got me dead to rights. I can't convince people anymore that I'm not a piece of shit. I know it's a problem, right? I know it's a problem to have somebody out. Thank you. I don't need to outperform you because I will outthink you. Oh, I'm being fucked up tonight. <laughs> you are getting fucked up. You're going to get a fucking bunch of dopamine from eating a half a can of Easy Cheese and crying. <laughs> cheese in a can, fuck me up. <laughs> yeah, she don't cook that stuff. That's all bullshit. It's all fake. Everything about her is fake. Let's do it. <laughs> Y'all are as sick as I am. And this is why we all get along. You know this, right? Oh, this okay, is why we get along. Yeah, that is why you all get along because you are just as sick as she is. All of you. Acrophobe, Mary Beth Wiley, DDH, AJ, Tracy M, Jesse838383, Zoe Wright, Sarah, Just Saying, Michelle, Openly Objective. Oh, I forgot real quick. DC, DC Media Gunt, Media Ghoul, fucking wax statue ass looking, looking chick. Why is it that you wouldn't accept my apology about being uh, posting that too bit of an edgy joke and you've hung on to that as a means to allow people to lie about me, which is stupid and fucked up? That came from Kiwi Farms. You read Kiwi Farms on the regular. So why are you hanging out in a Nazi-filled area to get tea on fat girls is what I want to know. If I'm such a white supremacist, why, why are you hanging out where the other stuff is? So you've seen this thing a thousand times and know that your docs have been on Kiwi Farms way before I came onto the scene, so... Why is it you need to weaponize all these things that didn't happen to you in order to justify platforming lies against people that I respect? I don't understand that. You're a journalist, 56 years old. I can't believe at 56 years old you just pulled out your 38 revolver and shot yourself in the foot. You've like you have just basically bled yourself of all your credibility for a, for a short burst for your 15 minutes of fame. I will be here long after you're gone, uh, literally and figuratively. Ooh, ooh. Warheads choosy, wait, choosy woozy? <laughs> yeah, she's got a refined palate, guys. <laughs> Who's choose? I don't know what this is. We don't have this here, but <gasps> oh, riveting, riveting. Riveting. This woman with a refined palate and the culinary skills of Gordon Ramsay. It's all fake. It's all fake. I guarantee all that food is gone. Ooh, just saying, you really. I'm starting to think maybe you do smoke because you are way too good at picking out these stoner, stoner munchies. It seems like you've done this before, girl. <laughs> Why you no. breathe so hard through your nose? Have you thought about maybe making a doctor's appointment to address your obvious problem? Whatsoever. <laughs> Dreaming fool too. Thank you so much for the super chat. Just saying you need to get on that merch. <laughs> you just sent French Fry Girl the prototype foodie beauty movie night snack box complete with grinder. For real, like, Chantel is probably so fucking... You have referenced Chantel so many times. Let me tell you something, Gun. I'm right here. I got video on my channel where you lied 
and you were disrespectful and you're out there trying to play victim now because I said some things to you that anybody in my position would say, get fucked. Go fuck yourself. You know we got you dead to rights and you're trying your best to protect every single sub and every single idiot that comes into your live streams. Let me tell you something. Those numbers will stay high when the tide turns. It did for MFW. It still stays a little high. It's, it took about a year for it to dwindle down. But let me tell you something. Just because they're watching doesn't mean they're loving. Shut out. Hi, girl. Whether you're watching now, whether you're watching on the replay. You want to come down to Montreal and share my fucking snack box and we can roll up joints with the grinder and FaceTime with Just Saying? <laughs> Open invite anytime, girl. As much as I fucking go wash your hair. Don't like a lot of the things about Chantal that Chantal does. Whatever. I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. When she is what I call stoned and in the zone, mm -hmm. she reminds me a lot of when I'm stoned and in the zone. And I have a feeling me and her might just get along. You would get along because you're just alike. You're just alike. You're the same fucking person. We've been saying this for months. You're the same fucking person. Addicted to food. Addicted to drugs. Addicted to drama. Addicted to anything you can stuff in your musky muff that, that won't gag. If she's really high and I'm really high, I think there would be a lot of laughter there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there'd be a lot of laughter. <laughs> We'd be laughing. Equine Dragon, thank you so much for the super chat. You guys need to try Tim's Cascade Chips. Ooh, so good. I've... I've never heard of this before, but I'm riveted. <laughs> of course you're riveted. You're fat. I will look for them, girl. You're, you got this, uh, your refined palate. Yeah, making all that seafood and shit. Yeah, you're totally making that. You're totally not stealing those pictures or recycling old pictures of meals that you made one off. You're not cooking like that all the time. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you lying to people who are giving you money? I'm telling you, when it, when the, when the, when they finally decide to open their eyes and go, yeah, she's a fucking turd. You're going to, it's going to be great because you're going to be like, my numbers are still high, nanny, nanny, boo, boo. But you're going to see the super chats go down, the thumbs up, the thumbs down go up. And you're going to be like, why are people clipping me more and more? Because you're going to continue, you're, you're going to let this shit get in your head. Right now, it's echoing in your head. Echo, echo, echo. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Disability fraud, 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 fraud. Next is right, 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 right. So that's going to cause you to be reactionary and not think. And then you're going to continue to double down and play the victim on Twitter. You're not right. You're not in the right. You've never been in the right, nor will you ever be. Oh, my God. Oceana Song says, I would pay to see that. Same, girl, same. I think that could be funny content. You just get high and taste snacks. Well, of course, you're fat. And make each other laugh. Of course, you're fat. Girl, I will edit you the video. How's that? You'll have a video to put up on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Lil Miss Pris. Yes. Thank you for clarifying. Only when high, though. Yeah. Lil Miss Pris. Lil Miss Pris. You know what? I'm not going to police where people go. I just know who I will and will not fuck with in the DMs. I can't stand her sober when I'm sober or when she's sober. And even when she's Cause, open. Because honestly, anybody that's been around since uh, the stuff with my son happened and they and they go and just kind of key key with people who uh, who exploited that. Like, yeah, I don't, don't fucking DM me. Yeah, don't hit me up. Don't try to be friendly with me. I don't fuck with you. OK, I don't fuck with you no more. But you can continue to hang out and chat. Overdone the edibles. I don't like it when she's underdone them. I don't like it. It's got to be in the zone. Mm, it's a fine line between pissing me off and making me laugh when it comes to that woman. I'm not going to lie. Oh, so this person you don't know on the internet, complete stranger, never done anything to you, pisses you off. How do you think I feel in regards to you then? Are you still the victim? Oh, is it because you have a vagina? I think. Is that what you're doing? Are you shielding it? No, you're shielding your vagina with your gun. You need to lift the gun up before you can shield yourself with your gender that we're unsure of. Emerald Green. Hey, girl. Thank you so much for the super chat. I send my American friends ketchup, everything, and coffee, crisp, chocolate, and Joe Louis, I got her a box of Joe Louis. Yeah. And other Vachon snacks. I didn't think of coffee crisp. Y'all don't have coffee crisp for the chocolate bar? Refined palate, guys. She's got a refined palate. She's been going on about food for 35 minutes. I thought you guys had all the cool stuff. This is a one hour and 37 minute live stream about food. She said it was because she's always been nice to me and was the first person to ever give me a wrench and talk to me in every stream. It's just for attention. It's okay. Well, I mean, they can hang out here, but I ain't going to be fucking with them no more. That's fucked up, yo. 
That's fucked up, yo. Oh, they gave me a wrench and some attention. What the fuck? How old are they? Aren't they in their fucking 40s? How are you going to be in your 40s and sell your fucking uh, dignity out for a fucking wrench and some ass pads? Jesus Christ. Mm. So gross. Mmm. Mmm. What'd you do? Did you see some mustard dried on your computer? You're like, mmm. Oh, uh, just saying, just so we're clear, I also then ran out of stuff. Because here's the problem. You guys have all the cool stuff. We don't. Okay. Yeah, we have all the cool stuff like dignity, truth, facts, not exploiting deceased children or people with dementia. That type of thing. Not being a piece of shit. Is that, I'm sorry, is that a Canadian thing? Because you and Queef of AIDS have a lot in common. By the way, Queef of AIDS, hi, how you doing? I see you're still out there lying. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay? Nobody cares. Yeah. You were not, you know, that guy didn't grab your ass. That If he did, I don't think you would have said anything. You probably would have sucked him off right there in the elevator. So I bought all the Montreal stuff, all the Canadian stuff I could think, and then I was like, now what? So I bought you the Greek stuff, all the good Greek stuff that we have from Greece. Oh, girl. Mm. Uh, please don't take offense to the word, to the, to the R word. Um, because I, look, man, I have special needs children, right? And we don't use the word retard to classify people anymore medically. Not that I'm aware of. That was, that's an old, outdated term. That's why I use it. So I'm sorry if it offends you, but that's just something that comes up here occasionally. And, and, and look, I know a lot of people are contacting me lately about my vernacular and my incendiary comments. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but if I start refining everything I say and do, then I'm not going to be myself. I'm not going to be myself. I've been over the thing with the, with the word retard over and over again. Is if you give it power, it has power. You dickwad! Go to fucking hell, Niggs! I hope you go to hell! French Fried Girl is watching your stream claiming, crying on Twitter. Cope Harder. Yes, Cope Harder. Now look, um, I, have, I have special needs children, and I want them to not even give that word any power. Once we start giving that word power, because see, people are like, oh, I'm a recovering drug addict. How dare you call this other junkie that's attacking your deceased child and your disabled children a junkie? It's not about you, and I'm, I mean that in the best way, Okay. I mean that in the best way. When I say retard, it's not about you. It's not. It's about them. When I say junkie, it's not about you. It's about them. I want everybody to get well. I want everybody to have a redemption arc. I wish the best for people who are trying in life. And people who are disabled are trying in life because they don't have a choice, right? They have to try every day. So it's not about them. It's about this individual right here. Okay, but if I start writing down words I can't say because one or two people are offended, then I totally strip myself of my own identity and I become no better than the people that I'm calling out. Hmm. <laughs> kind of change the vibe of the box, but it's still going to be all good, trust. All right. What the hell? Little Debbie mini powder donuts? You guys, I hope you're not taking screenshots and making memes. I have never seen this. Yeah, retar so... retard is not a diagnosis anymore. Wow. That is wild. A donut in a bag in a grocery store. Cool. Okay. You guys really have everything in the States. Every Powdered donuts. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes. I mean, like, dude, we got to stop going online and, and just being like, well, that offended me. So I'm, I'm going to make a mountain out of a molehill. I hear about 500 things a day that offend me. Um, people bring up my sons all the time, all day long. I'm offended. I, if, I, if, I, if I was offended by... Okay, look. <laughs> if, I was a, if I let this shit get to me, I would do nothing but be offended all day long. And what I do is I just don't go where that stuff is. I just don't go to read it. I don't go to hear it. I just... Or if I want to enjoy something and there's a piece of it I don't like, I just bypass it I, that, I just go right over that you know what i'm saying because it's not about me if it were about me i'd be a little bit more on the well, on the defense but it's not about me they're not talking about me or anybody i love not my kid not my grandma my grandpa my cousin my uncle my great aunt the dog it's not about me yes art girl loves paint was that another chantal thing <laughs> hey i got a video for you there french fried karen uh, Negs, Little Debbie. No, yep, yep, Little Debbie. Okay, here we go. Here you go. Hey, y'all. I got pigtails in today. Think it looks cute? 
Well, my brother-in-law came really powdered. Actually, I can do my nighttime routine. You this can, is this is her. You can actually use these as some kind of powder. If you're going to be on the TV, you can powder your nose with them and your forehead. See how I'm doing that right there? This is her right now. Right now. There we go. That's real good right there. And on the inside, it's cake. This 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 it's her. It's cake. Can you believe that it's cake? So we're gonna actually eat one now. Okay, this is her right now. This is, she's a dainty girl. She's a skinny legend. Does not have a 16 inch meat curtain covering her musky muff at all. I think I need to eat another one. But I'm not real sold on that one. <laughs> Well, they leave a film on your mouth. That's about the only thing I don't like about them. They there you go. Yeah. Anyway, go on about the donuts. You know, I just open it and stick my face in the bag and get all fucking powdered to the face. <laughs> Not until you're crying in your bed about your crippling depression and loneliness. <laughs> that is hilarious. You know, I mean, like, people don't have to like my incendiary content. This this is the stuff that goes up on, on Rumble. They don't have to like it. And I apologize if I offend anybody, but I'm definitely not going to be retooling anything because that's the point, is to be incendiary. Because I've tried having a conversation. I've tried reasoning. I've tried logic. I've tried honesty. I've tried every single motherfucking thing I can to be an adult with this stupid idiot. And they don't, and none of them want to do that. So what what do we do? I roast the ever living fuck out of them, put it on Rumble, and then I go back out to my workshop and continue my day. Oh my god! Stock mom says, "Don't get the powder on your nose." <laughs> fucking nuts! Oh my god! Little Miss Princess, little Debs, little bit, little Debs are my weakness. I love how you have like shortened little Debbie, little Debs. It sounds like y'all are girls, you know. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's my girl, little Debs. Hey, hey, what's up, little French? Yeah, boy, it's little French in the house. Oh, yeah, it's little French in the house. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We're, we're, we got we got little French in the house. I got to I gotta do something. I got to wait for this notification to come up. Oh, shit. Hang on. I'm going to pull it up right here. Oh, and you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's that time. Oh, yeah, it's that time. Let's get the goat up on the screen, or the cow, rather. I'm sorry. You know what time it is. Why the fuck you lying? Yeah! Why you always lying? What? Mm, oh, my God. Okay! Stop fucking lying. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. You seem like you're a little excited over them little Debbie donuts there, French fry girl. So I want to tell you about my experience with Lil' Debbie's and crying in bed. I was sitting at home, feeling all alone, eating donuts like it was on a bone. Sucking my fingers down to the skin. When will I give a get laid or win? I'm sad. Look at me on YouTube. My boobs start in the back. <laughs> I don't know if I should smoke crack Cause I don't have a treadmill and that's really whack I'm super excited about ketchup chips Ranch chips, I don't give a shit I'll sit here a fucking day Lay in the hay and eat easy cheese until I'm gay What the hell does that mean? I don't know Gigi came out of the closet after he saw your fold mold I don't know what I'm supposed to do, grab a brush, soap it up, and now I'm scrubbing you, you, you. Why are you tripping about the food? You're <laughs> it's definitely a mood. I can see your sweat. I can smell your crotch. Oh, my God. What <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was super bad. That was really bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be a disappointment to you guys. R.I.P. Neglected Gaming Chair Reed. Hey, girl, thank you so much for the super chat. Girl, I'm going back to The Rock, Newfoundland, in a few days, bringing you back roast chicken chips. What? And some cans of pineapple crush. I've never had either of those, but I'm riveted by both, damn it! Because you're fat! Love you, girl. Damn it! 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Thank you so much for the super chat. Newfoundland, eh? <laughs> huh. Pineapple Crush sounds fucking riveting. Because you're fat. Hmm. Just every time she's excited about food, just say, because you're fat. It's like being at the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's like a callback. Oh, Mr. Panda, sir. Hey, girl. So did I miss a lot of the stream? Oh, my God. I hate missing the secret menu streams. LMAO. Did she gain weight? <laughs> I don't know. You want to compare? Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, the uh, if we go back in time, if we go back in time... To a time when she was on a weight loss journey sometime in November. If we actually, it's January. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Tell us about the weight. Tell us about the weight loss journey. Tell us about it. Hi, guys. Hi, how Hi. you doing? Welcome to my channel. Yeah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You have lips here. I've never filmed myself before. I've never done anything like this. I'm extremely extremely nervous are you nervous you should be nervous because you have canceled yourself honey you have grasped you have embraced cancel culture to the point that you've so canceled yourself why am I here uh, I've been watching foodie beauty and Amberlynn Reed people like them um, on YouTube since Where, where's the <laughs> I fucking love rich about 2017 okay so there you go that was her on her weight loss journey which apparently turned into a weight gain journey. Oh, girl, you ain't missed shit. We have literally done fuck all. We are opening a fantastic box of treats from Just Saying. That's right, Just Saying. Just a feeder. Uh, and laughing our ass up, and you guys are just feeding. We're literally here to cheer up Frenchie tonight. I'm not gonna lie, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little French here. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a selfish girl to know you all. I know you are a selfish girl. Look at the state of you. Oh, Susie Q, girl, y'all are making my night, not the other way around. Not at all. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Proud noof. 85 grams of sugar in the pineapple crush, but I love it. Well, I mean, like, I don't I don't care. I never drink sugar in drinks ever, and if I want to drink a fucking regular drink, I drink a fucking regular <laughs> Like, I, I'm not diabetic. Or... Hang on a second. I just, I got to go back and reference this real quick. I'm sorry. Um, Like so many other people, I found them while wanting to start my own weight loss and looking for motivation online. Okay, so you went from docile, nervous, wanting to lose weight. You went from that to spurging out about a box of snacks. Cool. I don't give two fucks about sugar. I barely have anything with sugar. I sip on water with those little drops in it all day, you know? What kind of drops are those? Depakote drops? Eh, I don't care. <laughs> if that's what's gonna take me out, you know what? I'm going down drinking a fucking pineapple crush, okay? You're going to go down eating the fucking, I don't know, a Slim Jim. Like one of those big ones. Kiko, girl, what are we discussing today? Well, we discussed uh, the mess that was Chantal. Of course you did. Stream. Oh, look the at me. That was her stream. No, look at me. Fat girl. Talk about another fat girl. I'm not projecting. My BMI isn't off the Richter scale. I'm not the size of a used sedan. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not a psychopath. I'm not committing disability fraud in Canada like Jake Jonas is in upstate New York. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm not guilty. I'm the victim. I'm always the victim. Never the perpetrator. Even when I am the perpetrator, I'm still the victim because I have a vagina somewhere under all this fucking skin somewhere we will be reacting to that stream first thing tomorrow morning very early in the day but there was just no time to end, uh, edit it we are here opening a box of snacks from just saying mm -hmm. and just uh, shooting the shit having a good time you know you sound like a fucking uh uh jungle boy from wild thornberries huh? yeah. yeah hey uh dude look at you look at your gobbledygooker you have the nerve to talk about anybody. Look at you. Look at you. You look like a fucking eighth grade gym teacher. What the fuck? Okay, what? Oh, Krabby Patties, what the hell? What even is this? Gummy? Gummy candy, Krabby Patties. Did Dragnock send her this box so she could get diabetes and die like he wants to happen to Shanny? I've never seen this. We can't sell these things in Canada. They're all in English. That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. <laughs> If I lived in the States, I would be 500 pounds. I definitely would. I'll oh, say that again. Oh my God, you're such a fucking cow. 
You're such the you're such a beautiful bovine. I'm so glad you wandered into uh, negative estates. Holy shit! All in English. That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. <laughs> if I lived in the states, I would be five hundred. It's a nesticle. <laughs> I definitely would. You would. You would weigh five hundred pounds if you lived here. Canada's not any different. You're already like what? About two eighty five. You're about 285, I would say. Because I'm 180. You say you're 185, which is bullshit. Because, uh, look, man, I had boobs. My boobs are going away, right? Your boobs, like, start somewhere right. It's weird. It's like there's space right here. They start here, then they connect in the middle of your back by your spine. It's like you could, it's like, it's like a bra. You could, like, undo the back boob. Oh, I feel so comfortable. Winn Dixie was wild. Wild. Like, I've been to Winn Dixie. I used to go to Florida a lot when I was a kid. But going through a grocery store when your kid is fucking boring, right? It's not the same now. I bet you stole candy bars and ate them before you got to the checkout. Oh, it's a riveting, riveting. I bet you were like, Look, you got to go see that one. It looks like it. Oh, what is that? Mentos gum? Watermelon? It's for the halitosis. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's problematic. The halitosis, I mean, is bad. I know. It's crippling. Uh, gym teacher, you're the best. Thank you, Lazy. I appreciate it. By the way, this replay is going up on Rumble. That's right. That's right. You can go over to Rumble and report me if you want. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be you kidding me. Want? Go to fucking hell, Niggs. I hope you go to hell. Um. <laughs> that, yep. Basically, I mean. Gum? Watermelon? Oh, it's watermelon instead of watermelon. <laughs> that is cool. We don't fucking have this here. Or maybe not in Quebec. Maybe they have it in the rest of Canada. I don't know, but. I don't, I've never seen this before, but this looks damn delicious. Does that watermelon look so fucking tasty? You're so fucked when you get false teeth because you got no lips to hold them in. You're just going to look like this. I I'll show you what you're going to look like. I'll show you exactly what you'd look like with, with, uh, Cinnabite, uh, there we go. I'll see exactly what you look like when you get false teeth. Cause you, I mean, you gotta, you gotta kind of have some, some lips there. You gotta kind of have some lips. You understand? You know, I mean, you're just gonna look like this. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you about that. Nothing I can do about it. Mm. Interesting. Just saying. <laughs> this box is fantastic, girl. Yeah. All right. Oh my god, they're packing stuff with us. Dude, look yeah. at your fucking look at that nesticle. Dude, look at that nesticle. Holy shit. That's fucking glorious. Look at the size of that nesticle. Holy shit. It's like a goiter. Like, look at it. It's like a fucking goiter. Oh. Oh my. Oh. This. This was the thing in the candy aisle. Sour Patch Kids Exploders? Only thing it's gonna be exploding inside of you. We don't have this in Canada. You don't. Yeah, I know you don't. It's like gushers, but with like like sour gushers. We have gushers. Remember gushers when you were a kid? And this reminds me of gushers, but with the sour shit on it. I. Yeah, that's what the, that's what your boyfriend said about your. <clears throat> I love jujubes. I'm I'm gross like that. He's like it's like that one thing with the sour shit on it. <clears throat> oh fuck! I fucking hate that sour shit. It smells like fucking baby neck cheese and sour milk. Ugh. These are gonna be awesome. <laughs> Have you guys had these? Are they as good as they're making me think that they're going to be? They must be good. They must be good. Well, I mean, I, why, why don't you tell us? Right now on Twitter, did you eat all this? Did you eat all this food? You ate all this, didn't you, you little porker? You you ate it all. You ate it all one night while crying, didn't you? You did. You sitting there thinking about me. You will have sex with me. <laughs> Chasing the Sour Patch Kids. Let them explode in your mouth with fucking easy cheese. Yeah, Lynn Smith, me too. Isn't it like fucking your mind up just seeing that Lynn Smith said- It's fucking my mind up that you're actually a human being, that you're a result of evolution. That's fucking my head up. Yes, yes I love all the English on the packages, which to you guys is probably like, what the fuck are they even talking about? But me too, my mind is all like warped by it when I saw this one.
Your mind's warped by candy. Wow. It literally just says Krabby Patties gummy candy. This would be so <sighs> illegal ass in Quebec. Like, where's the French? <laughs> it's refined palette, guys. Refined Gordon Ramsay palette right here. Wild for us to see the packaging like this, you know? Oh my gosh. Dude, Pebbles, Pebbles tail looks nicer than yours. And she she doesn't get bathed but like once every couple weeks. And she shits out the end of where her tail is. Well, I mean, you're shitting out of the end where your tail is too, but dude, look at that nesticle. Fuck. Okay. Last but definitely not least, Tostitos hint of guacamole? Does, does that make you Mexican? I'm just curious. So they put stuff on Tostitos so you don't even need to dunk a Tostito? Yeah, I mean, how do you have this refined palate and the only thing and, 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 and this confusion about food and this refined palate and you think that matzo ball soup makes you Jewish? Bro, you have canceled yourself so hard. It took Charlie Gold a while to accept it, but but it happened. You'll accept it one day. Like I said, those numbers will stay high. Don't worry. Yeah, we don't have this in Canada. People are just going to be watching for a different reason. Has anyone in Canada ever seen these? We have all the Tostitos, but I've never seen a guacamole Tostito. Google Miss Trunch Bull. All right. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. All hail Sandy, just Sandy. Oh, my God. Pete! 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 All hail Sandy. Holy shit. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Yeah, only I'd probably have sex with Mrs. Trunch Bull. You know, I, I, would, I would rather have sex with, with this right here. Period. Yeah. Right there. Insert peen. Right there. Before I'd ever go to this, I'd say, yo, let me lick that wart on your face. Why don't they make ketchup Tostitos then? I don't know. You're fat. You tell me why. You, you, I mean, like, wh what's the serial number on that bag? I feel like that was missing from the box. I bet she goes to the store and complains about how much air is in the bag. For, for, to, to just say, you know? Like, she'd go to the store and, like, has, like, one of those mobile uh, things that seals bags. And she, like, opens them up, fills the bag up, and just steals it, and then goes up and pays for it. Mm. Shaken but not stirred, cat says, oh, gross, sorry. I mean, could be gross, could be awesome. You never know. This that makes you Mexican, too, by the way. So you can be uh, a bigot and a little bit more of a racist, and you can just pull those out and be like, ah, what, what? <laughs> this, this is one of those Russian roulette type moments. <laughs> it could go either way. Oh yeah. Oh, Shanwell Potter. They got ketchup Doritos. You know. Oh my God, dude. You're fuck me. Hang on, dude. Yo, what the fuck? Thirty-five. Oh my God. Thirty-five. Almost forty minutes of you going on and on about food. They sent you a whole box of food. They look at you. Do you think these people are your friends? They look at you and say, yeah, she looks like she could use a uh, care package of about 15,000 calories. You know, in Canada, we have ketchup everything. And yeah, ketchup Doritos, my opinion, are the absolute best Doritos ever, ever. Just saying, even if you hate all the other ketchup stuff, I, keep an open mind to the fucking <laughs> ketchup Doritos, please, girl. Please. Good okay, Lord. Just saying, this is so fucking wild. Thank you so, so much for this box. You blew my goddamn mind, man. <laughs> How are you not a stoner? <laughs> because... You either are or you took a stoner shopping or you really just went with every time. As I was panning around or you were panning around every time did I go, ooh, and you just like put it in the cart. Is that what was going on? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Tiffany Sanchez, girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a P.O. box. She's a uh, French girl, send me some ketchup Doritos, LOL. Let me, let me set up my fucking P.O. box. I'm gonna be sending you guys all kinds of crazy shit. We're gonna have fun with this fucking P.O. box. Wait, wait, wait till you all are receiving fucking packets of poutine sauce and Montreal steak spice and shit in your mail. Wait. You are a nothing but a community of fucking fat asses, aren't you? Of ignorant, delusional, bigoted, anti-Semitic, racist, mental pedophilic fucking idiots. Holy fuck. Wait, I'll be trolling you all by mail soon. It's going to be fun. <laughs> She'll now be a Jewish, Greek, Canadian, Mexican domestic assault victim. Yes, exactly. I'm sure she has a bug shot. And that's not, that's not blood on her face. That's salsa. Oh. She got, arrest, is... she got arrested for assaulting a Chi-Chi's. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Yeah, Natural Ginger says ketchup flavorings are quite strong. They are. But we are a strong people, Canadians. We can do this. <laughs> you guys like ranch. You should be down for strong flavors. The fuck? <laughs> you know what's missing, Gun? All you need to do is sit in your kitchen and have a cat crawling around on your counter. 
Yeah, you're in six months. You're gonna be standing up and showing your big fat ass, and we're gonna be talking about it. It's gonna be great. Oh, <laughs> uh, just saying again. Thank you so so much for this, and thank you so much for. Thank you so so much for contributing to my early death. Convincing me to come live. Because I have an eating disorder, and they're going to find me dead on the toilet like Elvis, and my cats are going to be eating my toes because I didn't feed them in three days, and nobody cares enough to check up on me, so then they're going to have to see the crime scene cleanup, people, and you're going to have to scrape my big gelatinous ass off the bathroom because I gained 400 pounds, and I sat there and just decomposed, and now I sludge all over the floor. See, I can say incendiary things, too. I can say fucked up shit, too. Were you invited to the funeral? Because, as always, you were right. You're always fucking right. Everybody should just shut up and listen to just saying, always. If she tells you something, just go, okay, and do it. Do, okay, don't question it. Only 37? God, I'm sitting here telling the truth about you, and only 37 people disliked it. How many thumbs up I got? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Guru. <laughs> She's bummed. Um, if she had an OnlyFans, it would be... <laughs> it'd be only meat sweats is what uh, it would she be. She was right. She said, the box would cheer me up. I came on this stream not even wanting to... Be Eat? on the stream, okay? Oh, not even oh. wanting to do this tonight. Not gonna oh, lie. you I, got I, on the stream not wanting to gush about food for 40 minutes? Wow. It's amazing what you could do when you're not in the mood. I said I had a shit fucking day. Oh, you had a shit fucking day? I've had shit for fucking years, and you just rubbed my face in it a few months ago. Were you invited to the funeral? Uh, <laughs> just saying, says, I'm the child of a hippie. <laughs> no, you're the child of fucking Ava Braun. Shut up. All right, now it makes sense, girl. <laughs> I love it. It's like in your DNA. <laughs> You guys cheered me up. Your pay I guarantee your family what isn't even Jewish. You probably have fucking Nazi ties. So much. I so appreciate it. Thank you guys so so much. This was this was great fun for me. Maybe selfishly, maybe it wasn't all that for you, but it was bomb for me. And Yeah, I guess that's what uh, that's what she tells all the guys that pump and dump. They're like, it was bomb for me. And he's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing and I'm smiling and Yeah, exactly. And he's over there heaving in the corner. I fucking needed it. Thanks so much, girl gang. She's 36. Holy fuck. Look rough. Rough 36. Holy shit. Somebody rode you hard and put you up well like a fucking saddle. Uh-huh. No, that's awesome, guys. I really, really... Did somebody say only trunch bulls? Oh, no, that's just French fried trunch bull. My Appreciate bad. it. You know, like, it's part of the beauty of the gang, right? I love I love to cheer up anybody in the gang who's having a shit ass day. We come here, we assemble, we have fun, we laugh, we feel good. I want I want to I want to give uh, the girl gang, hi, girl gang... I'm Negs. Um, I I uh, I deal in truth and facts, so uh, I want you to I want you to hear my theory about a mental pedo. Okay, a mental pedo doesn't touch children physically. A mental pedo reaches out and touches a child in their mind, so they can get an emotional reaction out of somebody, uh, so that they could feel like they did something good or a little bit of a of a endorphin rush, dopamine that type of thing. So. That's what a mental pedophile is. is somebody that has to, one, lie about a child. Um, two, uh, create a, uh, a, a fantasy that never happened like they did with Gigi and the birthday party thing. Yeah. So this woman right here qualifies as what I like to call, and this is just me, as a mental pedo. Because she absolutely exploited multiple children in order to get to, and she lied. She exploited them to get one over on a couple people that don't want to fuck her. How do you feel about that, girl gang? Y'all did it for me tonight, and I really fucking appreciate that. And just saying, thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much for this box of treats. I hey, hey, Trailer Park Barbie, I want to remind you of something real quick. Remember how MFW said I uh, had two GoFundMes and stole money from my son's funeral? Did you know that um, me critiquing your parenting is what kicked that all off? I just want to do a little bit of uh, a bit of a history lesson because I know you're a mod for French Fry Girl. But you know that me critiquing your parenting, which I know you're, you're, you, you've you came a long way and you're in a better place now and you've overcome cancer and all that stuff. And I'm super happy and super proud of you. But the MFW thing kicked off because I critiqued your parenting. And now you're completely aware that this individual has besmirched Mason's name and you're over there because you said that she's nice to you. So I just want to remind everybody that that's the situation at hand. I can't even tell you. Thank you so, so much. I cannot believe that you went and got me this. I can't. I'm, I'm so touched. Just be prepared. Just prepare, because when she turns on you, she's going to use everything that is your niche, that is your niche in your armor. That's a chink in your armor. She's going to use every bit of it against you. Hey, French fry girl, Trailer Park Barbie's been a supporter of mine for five years. How do you feel about that? That probably seems insane to some people, but just saying is not a, a wee girl. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know. 
I find that extremely cool of you. So thank you so much. Uh, French fry girl polices her people. If you're going to be here, be cool with us. That's going to be for you to deal with. But I just want to let you know that that drama did kick off. That's why MFW turned on me is because I critiqued your parenting. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm not asking for loyalty. I'm just asking for honesty. It makes me laugh to think of you going in and buying this. And I will use it and always think of you when I use it. Thank you so much, Desan. It means a lot to me. It really does. <sighs> Wyatt Gunner, thank you so and this, much. This this is the problem. This is the problem. Okay, I'm I'm done bagging on the fat girl. She's boring now. This is the problem. Is because you've been around for a long time and you know what the fuck I went through and you know what the fuck she said to me. And then you go and you say she's nice to me and then you come over here and just want to like blend in. I I just find that weird. You know, I mean, if somebody if like if you had to go through what we went through and somebody accused you of something you didn't do, and I was your friend. I most certainly wouldn't go over there and support them up morally. I'm just saying. Ready to yeet me for not causing any conflict. So, I mean, that's that. So, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being honest with you, you know. You've always been honest. Well, okay, cool. Right on. Well, I mean, don't, I mean, just don't DM me or anything. Don't, don't, don't try to be my friend behind the scenes. You can hang out in the chat and talk to people you know here and all that but i mean don't expect much interaction from me that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying and i have the right to do that because i don't fuck with bigots i don't fuck with anti-semites she's an anti-semite she's a bigot she's a liar she lied about my baby and i don't fuck with people who fuck with people like that i'm not gonna block you i'm not gonna make a big deal out of it outside of this little tirade i'm doing right now i'm just saying i don't fuck with people who fuck with bigots i don't do that I mean, that's just a gra that's just the that's just the uh, that's just the gravity of the situation. Yeah, I know, right, Gothic? It's it's weird, I, I, especially after five years. I just I don't understand. But whatever, I was here to roast the shit out of the gunt, make her look like a complete fat idiot, which I did. Mission accomplished. Give her a wrench. Yeah, let me just get right on it. You're not two faced. Are you sure? I mean, I'm not saying you're two. I'm not saying you're talking shit about me. Um, you never knew her past. You watch me and you have no idea that this person... Get the fuck out of here. Don't, don't insult my intelligence, please. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna upset me if you sit here and, 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 and pretend that I'm stupid. I have DMs right now on Instagram that indicate otherwise. Don't make me do what I don't want to do. Because I'll fucking do it. Don't be dishonest. Don't fucking sit here in my chat and lie. Don't sit here and support me for years. And then come in here and lie about what you say you don't know. That's a fucking lie. I have the DMs right here in Instagram. <laughs> We've talked about this. You've even came to me in her defense in the DMs. Like, why blue, blue, blue? Don't make me, don't make me debunk you please don't make me do it because I, I i like you i just think you're misguided <laughs> oh fuck everybody fine okay fine 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 I know we talked about it. There's a lot of DMs here. Lots of DMs. Well, regardless, regardless, these go back months. I'm not going to go through all those. I'm not going to go through all those by myself. It had to be brain fog. Yeah, yeah, I know how that, that pesky brain fog makes me, uh, makes me cancel out what people who gave me a wrench and pay attention to me that I said they're nice to me and that's why I like them. Yeah, it makes me cancel out them uh, exploiting somebody's trauma too. Just that little bit of information just goes, 
just out the door. It's just like, wow, where'd that memory go? Ha! <laughs> Didn't see that on Next Channel that I watch all the time. Didn't see him bring it up a thousand times over the last six months. Yeah, just that little piece of information just conveniently is just missing. Fuck, man. It's like Men in Black. Regardless, you watch my channel, so just, I mean, I just find it, you, you've, you've already defended her and defended why you're a, you're a, a mod, so I just, I, I'm, I'm insulted at this point. Please don't talk anymore. Please don't talk anymore. <sighs> no, I for, I can be I forget convenient parts of information, guys. When I watch a content creator for months and months and months, and I know somebody's exploiting something in their life that's highly sensitive and incendiary, that's the only part of the information that I forget when the person who did that to them gives me a wrench and says, I like you. Play part of the clip where Peanut reacted for TP. I don't know. Uh uh. She was in the she was in the chat, right? At Peanut's stream, right? She was in the chat, right? Yeah, you knew. Yeah, you knew. You knew, you rascal. You rascally rascal, you. Are the beans done indeed? The beans are done. How you feeling, Frenchie? You feeling pretty good about your day now? Yeah, you feeling pretty good. Oh, it's uh, oh! I forgot. I got I got one more thing I got to show. So shit, just give me a second. Ah, drink your water. Drink your water. And now, a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement from the law offices of Based in Reality. Does your husband make you play second fiddle to a mentally ill, morbidly obese woman on the internet? Does your husband sacrifice family time so he can show everybody on the internet that a child abuser is saying the n-word? Is your husband incapable of getting an erection without the sight of Shani's rotten teeth? Does your husband surround himself with glad-handing, lying, manipulative women? Well, honey, it's time to buck that cuck and get up on your own feet and get the money you deserve with the Shanty is Mighty Powerful, the Simp Fund. The Simp Fund is designed to give women the funds that they lose out on when their husbands decide to put them in crippling student loan debt, lose their jobs, and simp to a mentally ill child abuser all day. Call 555-SIMP. That's 555-SIMP to see if you qualify for immediate reparations. Remember, ladies, it's not your fault that your husbands are captivated by this child-abusing, racist, morbidly obese woman. But hey, you uh, hey, hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. No, I'm gonna let this finish. Compensated for your trauma. The following has been a paid advertisement from the law offices of Based in Reality. Hey, trailer, trailer park, Barbie, girl, whatever the fuck you're going by today. Uh, were you modding yesterday when I super chatted? Were you the one that deleted the message when I answered her question about whether or not I was invited to the funeral? Were you the one that did that or was that somebody else? Considering you're a mod and all. Daddy, can I have a buddy burger? No, honey, you've had too many already. Then I hate you and I'm running away forever. Bonnie did run away into the path of a speeding truck. The moral is, have us scrape one off the grill so you don't have to scrape one off the street. Buddy, buddy, buddy burgers made with love. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Oh, because because if you did, Trailer Park Barbie, don't worry about it because I got them right here. We're going to see them anyway. You were a mod there, so you obviously saw these, right? Of course you did. Oh, what's that say? I was allowed at my kid's funeral to answer your question. That was in her chat. Let's see here. We got Ocean Song, Sinead. Oh, let me write these down. So, of course, Rose Thorn. 
Oh, Rose, we're going to get to you this week, too. Uh, Ocean Song. Uh, Rose likes to dig through other people's garbage, and she looks like fucking Beetlejuice. Um, or she looks like she's from Beetlejuice, rather. Ocean Song. Okay, I'm just writing down all the anti-Semitic bigots. All right, shenanigans. Yeah, God, all these bigots in one place, like a white supremacy meeting. Ah, uh, did you do that? Were you there for that, TPB? Or did was is that memory missing too? Is that gone? Did you see the one about about Gigi's mom's dementia? Did you happen to see that, or were you not there for that? Is that information missing? Did you get men in black? I don't know. Oh, did you do that? Who did that? Oh, I'll remember her anti-Semitism that's in the video that's on my channel called the Guns DM Dump. Where then she produced a box of matzo salt ball soup and was like, what going has this? And continue to exploit the Jewish people. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> this is who you mod for, by the way, Trailer Park Barbie. Just let you know, anti-Semi, uh, mental pedophile, that type of thing. Oh, a bonus. A bonus. Oh, it's damn it, Shane. Wants to be a man, but not really. Damn it, Shane. Chickens are bitches. Chickens are bitches, dude. Bok, bok, bitch. Oh. Oh. Bok, bok, bitch. Chickens are bitches, dude. Chickens are bitches. Bok, bok, bitch. Bok, bok, bitch. Chickens are bitches. Sorry, uncle. Yeah, you're. Well, the point we're trying to make is that every single solitary one of you in her community, in Frank's community, in Drag's community, in Ms. Parker's community, in Callie's community, in the Guns community, every single one of you are fucking spineless cowards. Every single one of you are slimy pieces of shit. You are. Jules tells all, slimy piece of shit. Burnt toast, slimy piece of shit. Yeah, we can agree on that. Because you all are fine with, 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 with everything that happens. But then as soon as something happens to the person who... You do the Darvo thing. Fuck off. You just exposed yourselves as narcissists. As mentally ill. Try to come up with a logical explanation to your fucking insanity for a change. For my matzo ball mix fun. Thank you, Judy. An actual Jew. <laughs> I'm, I'm being serious, too. I'm being serious, too. Judy just wants me to feel as Jewish as she does. Oh, I'm sorry, not as Jewish, as Jewish as the gunt does. So all hail, Judy. It's good to see you, hon. I hope you're doing well. What is that community called? Oh, the Ku Klux Klan. That's what we call groups of bigots and anti-Semites is the Ku Klux Klan. I, they call themselves Hater Nation, but I call them the Ku Klux Klan, uh, the Third Reich, uh, Stormtroopers of Death, um, uh, Blitzkrieg, um, uh, uns mein Führer, that type of stuff, you know, uns mein Scheiße, yeah, das ist gut, and I poo pooed in my shoes, you know, stuff like that. So, <laughs> oh, my neck is killing me today. She went to the dark side. Yes, we have cake. Of course they went to the dark side. They all have cake. Welcome to the jungle. We got we got food and cake. C -c 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 yeah, baby. So yeah, this will be going up on Rumble. I don't know if any of my mods have that convenient that link convenient, but I do. So I'm gonna excuse me. I got I, I, I my diet has changed and my body is reacting weird ways to it. I mean, it's healthy. I feel good. I've never felt this good in my life, really. I haven't smoked in six days. Haven't had soda in almost a month. Lost about 25 pounds. I feel fucking great. How dare anyone say a word about anyone else when they have said worser on Twitter and DMs than their subs probably know about. I'm sick of seeing it. Me too, JoJo. It's ridiculous. They're like, did you see Nate say that thing? Yeah, of course I said it. What would you say? 
uh, Acrophobe, Mary Beth, Dee Dee, Aya, Tracy, Shenanigans, Ocean Song, Rose Thorne, Jesse, Openly Objective, Michelle, Just Saying, Sarah, Zoe, right? What would you do if she asked you if you were allowed at your kid's funeral? What would you say? Would you be so mad then? Would you be like, is she the victim still? I'm sorry. She exploited an innocent child who didn't have a choice in his, uh, in his fate. So that's okay with you because her feelings matter, right? I mean, make it make sense to me because I will admit I'm wrong as soon as you explain to me how I'm wrong. Fuck. TPB is another Jake Jonas. No, if she sees the light, apologize. No, I will not. No, I'm not, I don't fuck with people like that. I don't fuck with people like that. I don't give a fuck if they've given me a million dollars and they have bought everybody's memberships. No, I don't fuck with people who fuck with bigots. I don't fuck with people who have selective memory because they want ass pads and dopamine. I've been more than supportive to her. I've been more than honest to her. I've been more than genuine to her for her to turn around and be a fucking fake and come in here and be like, I did that, that thing. Made it black. Get out of here. I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm a fuck you, I mean, that's what pisses me off the most is she comes here and people come in here and think I'm stupid. Like, and I will put you on blast because fuck that. Why are you fucking with bigots for? Why are you fucking with anti Semites and people who exploit children? Why are you doing that for? We don't do that here. What the fuck are you doing? So, our generosity and our uh, us being nice wasn't enough. You had to basically just be like, hey, I'll tolerate bigotry for some ass pads. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, no shells, I'll tell you. Jake Jonas, not to be trusted. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure New York Disability Office has probably received video clips of him tearing it up on Mommy and Daddy's ATV that he likes to post to flex on people. Not my problem. I'm not, the, look, man, I'm a taxpayer. I'm supposed to be keeping my eye out for fraud, right? I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm protecting my country. I'm protecting my tax dollars. Death, all oh, hail death. Hey, Luxie, don't you like it. Wad. Don't watch it. Go to fucking hell, Negs. I hope you go to hell. Hey, Luxie, Luxie, were you allowed at your kid's funeral? How do you feel now? How do you feel? Hey, your mom don't have dementia. She's just trying to forget your dumb ass. Do you feel like calling me fat now? Do you feel like insulting my, my mouth and not having lips now? Or do you feel like, oh, no, I'm, I'm better than that. I'm better than that. That, that. that person doesn't need to be held accountable. Get the fuck out of here. Idiots, fucking intellectually dishonest people everywhere. She is fat. Where's the lie? She doesn't have lips. Where's the lie? She has a sloped forehead. Where's the lie? Her hairline starts in the middle of her head. Where's the lie? She films herself from here up. Where's the lie? She raged about food for 45 minutes. Where's the lie? You want to tell me where the lie is? You want to tell me where I lied? You want to tell me where I was dishonest? <laughs> yes, Carlitos, don't share your taquitos with these ladies. You only share them with me. How dare you? How dare you call the fat girl fat who calls other girls fat and ask if people have been allowed to their own kids' funerals? How dare you do that? Get the fuck out of here. How have you not choked to death by now? I know that you're probably on a fucking liquid diet because you obviously don't possess the brain capacity to chew any soft foods. But how have you not choked to death by now? How was SIDS not in your future? I don't understand. Why, why does God leave people like this on the earth? It's beyond me. See, that's incendiary comedy. You like that? You like that incendiary comedy? It's a good time. It's a good time. Hey, you made the rules, not me. I didn't make the rules, guys. I didn't make the rules. I'm just playing along with them, right? I'm just playing along. That's all I'm doing. They made the rules. I'm just going along with them. I'm just leaving out the racism and bigotry. That's what I'm doing. Uh, Petty Spaghetti says, congrats on quitting smoking. Oh, my God. Pete! Pete! <laughs> Can we all thank Missy? Yes, all hail Missy. All hail Petty Spaghetti. And all hail Missy. Missy, Missy does a good job here. She's my buddy. She's my homie. Her, her and Punk Punk and Straubs. Don't fuck with him. Uh, Luxy pointing out the Rudy Obvious is not the same as talking about someone's kid. Get a fucking grip. Well, you know, if this were the 50s, all of these people would be forcefully institutionalized. And I would lead a campaign to see to it that it happened. 
I would. I would. Because, I mean, like, people are so fucking snowflaked anymore that, that you can just rage with mental illness like this online and do whatever you want. And somehow you're the victim when somebody calls you fat after you got fat and make fun of fat people and stalk fat people. I don't understand what the problem is. So, so let me get this straight. So the gunt could just do whatever she wants is what they're trying to say. And nobody, sh and nobody should stop her, right? Like what, I mean, I'm sorry. Is she the premier of Canada or some shit? You know, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. You act like she's somebody. You act like she's beyond reproach. You act like she's allowed to fuck with people's heads, but nobody can get inside her head. Honey, I live inside her head 24-7. She goes to piss, and I'm right there on her left shoulder going, <laughs> God, you're fucking gross. I can smell you. Jesus. The only reason I do this is because I know it gets inside her little fucking brain. I have three hours to kill. I've been up since five I've already accomplished more than she has in the first three hours I was up and she will the rest of the day. She's going to re on Twitter. She's going to Darvo the fuck out of this thing. She's going to go live. She's going to be spastic. She's going to get ass pats and dopamine and get a quick fucking super chat uh, grab like Callie did. Or she's going to take a mental health break, right? Is a mental health break on the horizon? Don't take a mental health break. Please stay. Don't leave me. Oh, you have a prime minister? Uh, you have a premiere, though? Okay, well, I mean, see, you know. No, she can't complain. And any of her sycophants that come in here defending her, just get rid of them. I'm not interested in what they have to say. Because I've, 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 I've given everybody ample time. Like, if I'm guilty, hey, 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 gun. When are you going to prove that, I, uh, that, I, that, I, that I'm guilty of a gun crime? Because, I, I mean, I've, I've debunked it multiple times for those of you. Oh, hey, Trailer Park Barbie, if you're still watching, I want to show you another lie that you're aware of. Yeah. See this? See this? I'm not even going to show it to the camera. Everybody knows what it is. It's a permit to carry a handgun. Yeah? Yeah, you can't get this if you've been convicted of a gun crime. All right? You can't get this if you've been convicted of domestic violence. You can't get this if you've been convicted of a violent crime. You can't get this if you've been convicted of a drug crime. You can't get this if you've been convicted of a felony. Okay? So what more do I need to do to debunk this woman's lies? Okay? No shade. I don't take it. What, what are you talking about? It's hot. I need shade. Oh, no shade. No, no, I know. I don't know. I don't know Canadian politics. I don't know Canadian politics. I'm about to learn the uh, Canadian legal system, though, because, because uh, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Five years. I'm going to be making my rounds. Defamation suits. Left, right, front, and center. I'm going to put some people in the poorhouse. It's going to be great. And that will be the moment that I'm going... <laughs> Because it'll be a win for so many more people. People will be like, damn, don't say nothing because they'll fucking they'll come sue you, put you in the poor house. And I know they can't look, I I can't garnish Jake's disability, but I can ensure that he lives with his mommy and daddy until he's cremated. And I can't garnish the gun's disability, but I can ensure that she lives in Section 8 housing the rest of her life. So <laughs> Oh, she has too much going on with work, school, business to be touched by any criticism, but she's cool for smoking weed, but has no control. Yeah, she has she has control totally. Totally. She's totally not spurging out on Twitter right now, is she? They're totally not patting her ass right now. I love it. I love it. I, this, is, this accomplished all my goals that I wanted to do today. Went live, no notice, had no plan to go live. I just wanted to get in her little crawl and live there for the rest of the day while I go enjoy my life. <laughs> you should have brought up my kid, dude. You shouldn't. You should just leave my kid out of it, you mental pedo. And think about that in the future when you think about mentally touching somebody's kid to get a reaction out of them. But yeah, I got to wrap it up. We got a show tonight. We got a show tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's members only. It's private. Nobody can view it but members. So if you want to view it, become a member. We have about 265 members here now. Yes, I'm a deadbeat. Remember that. But let's get together tonight. I'm going to have a lit show for you. I'm going to have all kinds of subjects. We're not going to be talking about the gun tonight. Don't worry about that. I'm not her. I'm not going to talk about her every day like she does Chantel. I might start a second channel and do that. But I got to think about it. So... All right, guys, much love for me to you. If you do anything today, stay negative and stay subscribed. Don't stay negative. We don't do that. We don't do that. We stay positive. Stay real. Stay honest. Be true. Be you. Bye-bye.